Expectables. We are joined by the one, the only... One second, it's going to play here in a second. There we go! It was recently your birthday, Joe Cat, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was. Happy birthday. It was, uh, yeah, thank you. It was yesterday, in fact. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Mm. Happy birthday to you, Joe Cat. You, 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 you are you. you are younger than me. Congrats. I'm young. I'm pretty uh, sure I'm younger than everybody. Uh, oh, I, think, boy. I think we're around the same age, aren't we? I'm 31 years <laughs> old. I'm turning 35. Y'all hush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, wait, how old are you, Joe Cat? I, I turned 23 yesterday. Oh, my child. God. Child. We're, <laughs> we're, you're, I'm one year older than you. Oh, okay. Children. Monty's I not the youngest one in this boys. call. Wait, wait. How old are you, it's Connor? It's weird. I'm 26. Okay, it's not gonna, mm -hmm. wait, that's still uh, children. Yeah, I'm also the youngest sibling too, so Ooh. I feel that. Like all the youngest, I'm a baby. No, you are no matter of what default the youngest sibling, mm -hmm. a father and mother's children. Dun dun yeah. dun 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 dun. But Joe Cat, where can they find you, dude? They can find me on youtubecom slash Cat, twitchtv slash Cat, Twitter at Cat105. Mm -hmm. And uh, new video coming soon. I promise. It's about Pokemon. It's 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 gonna be good. Mm. Hopefully, Pokemon. Yeah. One second. I'm tweeting out the ad. But uh, yeah, that. Thank you so much, Joe. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's been a blast having you here in the wonderful land of Jacadia. Little... Yeah. No one told us oh, this place sucks. Was... We were joking about it, but everyone just gets out of the portal, grabs guns. What? Tracadia's haunted. What? Tracadia's haunted! <laughs> if, I were, if I were you, I would break this portal, like, right the fuck now. What? It goes to Tracadia. There's Indeed. nothing but bad things. Oh, we don't even know how they function as a society. There are so much, there's so much shit in their woods. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, but we're also joined by our DM extraordinaire, Monteglou Dever. Hello. That rhymed. That yeah, I know, good. right? Hi. Uh, I'm Monteglou. I'm a babysitter. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I want juice. No, Zeno, you already had fruit snacks. Are we there yet? Zeno, Zeno, if you want juice, maybe you should clear off the juice stains from your mouth. I want coffee. Are we there yet? <laughs> yes. No. I will turn this campaign around. Do they have a Monty? Joe Cat keeps licking me. No, I didn't. He's lying. <laughs> I have to go. Uh, the uh, I have to go to the uh, bathroom uh, again. <laughs> uh, Auntie Monty, uh, Connor broke my uh, my worm on a stick. Can we go get beer at McDonald's? I just look over, I just see Connor eating paste, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, mother! Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> but, Monty, where can, they find you? where can they find you? <laughs> uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow, there's going to be no stream, as I'm going to be driving with my father for the entire day. Uh, so there will not be a stream on Thursday, unfortunately, but on Sunday, uh, myself, my robot child, apparently, that I have, uh, Connor, and Koo Eater and Midnight Kai are currently doing a four-person playthrough of Divinity 2 Original Sin, and if you've not checked that out, you need to check it out, it's lots of fun. We can see people. We consist of a my character who is a lizard cleric who's very greedy. I love just everything. I love looting everything. We have Connor's character who, no matter what he wears, he's shirtless all the time. Uh, and also has the face of, like, you know that meme of the Pikachu where the Pikachu's just, like, open mouth, like, the surprise? surprise Pikachu. Yeah. That's, his character has that expression, like, all the time. Um, we have uh, Midnight Kai's character who is a human fighter who is just, like, a DPS monster. And then we have Grandma Bones, who is Koo Eater's character. Ah, uh, yes. And her beloved companion, Pew, the blob of flesh. We love Pew. I saw yeah. that thing being spawned. Jesus. I love him. We love him. Pew is such an MVP player. So, yeah, we were supposed to only stream for like three or four hours. We streamed for seven because we were having a lot of fun. So check that oh, out goodness. on Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on uh, any of our channels, like uh, myself, Connor, Eater or Midnight Kai's channel. We all will be streaming at the same time. So, yeah. Ruben. Oh my god. Zito, where can they find you, man? Hi. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, this week's gonna be all kinds of messy. There's a lot of game, a lot of indie games that have uh, come out that have gotten a lot of updates, like Pathways. Uh, 
uh, there's this game called uh, Blazing Beaks that came out. It's literally ducks. It, it, it's Enter the Gungeon with ducks. Nice. And, and it's moddable too, so... Enter the Duction. Enter the Duction, yes. Uh, there's also uh, going to be some art happening. There's also going to be uh, a lot of uh, player options. I'm making a shitload of player options for D&D. It's not the account. That's the book I'm making on the side. Now I'm just making shit for fun, and I'm going to throw it out there in the wild for all you kids to play. You want to oh, yeah. be pangolins? You, want, you all want to be pangolins? Pangolins? Yes. Yeah. Do you, do you want to be a playable pangolin? I want to be an ant dragon. I mean, I, I kind of did make that. You were there. I want to be fucking... happy. Oh, damn. You don't get to. <laughs> yes. Listen, I'm going to give them their own cantrip. It's going to be called Cast Honey, and it's going to be great. Oh. Uh. Bees? Bees. You know what? Bees? No, honey, Bees. honey ants. I apologize. That's that's the word I was missing. Honey ants. Con Connor, Damn it. Connor. Connor. Yes. What, what's up, lad? What's up? Where, 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 uh, what's going? Where are they? Where are you at? Well, they can find me on Twitter at Senile Snake, and they can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where Tuesdays I have R A W Roll Initiative Wrestling, a D and D themed WWE. 2K19 stream. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Currently, that is kind of wild. Uh, there are people attacking each other after matches. the The women's division is all is all hecked up. There's people attacking people. But next week, on Thursday, go to be the pay per view, the Eldritch Blast exclusive pay per view, Wild Shape. Will there be a new championship debuting in an elimination chamber match? And then love on Fridays we got Friday Funhouse where I uh, we just play a bunch of random fun games with a bunch of random fun friends. Saturday, uh, uh, doing the witch, doing the Witcher, and then Sunday has been changed. It's no longer Sunday side quest. Although I guess it could be Sunday side quest since we're still technically doing side quest. We're but we're we're playing Divinity 2, as Monty may have told you. Uh, I am playing a metamorph elf. Uh, I am. I am. I eat people and then absorb their power. Mm. Tom Cruise you can did also that. fly, which has been really, really. Valuable. Oh yeah, that's awesome! I should just sprout wings. Do you? And do you fly have? Around. Do you I'm have every X. Chicken? I'm every X man. Connor, <laughs> isn't it, this is an important question. Do you have metamorph into chicken? Uh, I I think I did purchase that skill actually. Good, I will be I will be very disappointed if that's not used once effectively. It <laughs> happened to you. You were turned into a chicken. Ah uh, yes, I played myself. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big old chicken. But thank you so much, Connor. Yep. Oh, Gim Gam. What? Oh, we we all we always have new <laughs> we always have new nicknames. This week this week's nickname for oh, Goomba fucking. is Bagoom. Yeah, that's the short story on that. There's an annoying ass character in everyone's favorite Monday show that keeps doing that flip name shit, and here we are. I'm sorry, guys. If I'm cranky, please forgive me. I am in extreme dental pain right now, and it's fading in and out, and it has completely ruined my six year anniversary with my beautiful wife, Aki. Oh, by the way, congratulations on your six year anniversary. Oh, thank oh, you so congratulations. much. Congratulations. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, which, I, I'd like. I also like. Uh, but where can? But where can they find you though? Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Goomba. Um, quick announcement: my big ass show that I've been hyping for like three months. Mm -hmm. It should be out no later than this weekend. Yokai Watcher is all about yokai. It's going to be a twenty minute long video. I am working my ass off on it. Should be done by then. You can catch that over on YouTube. Uh, easier to find me there. Otherwise, holy shit, Space Hulk Deathwing. I'm having a blast. Uh, a couple of us are as well. Um, I played it today. Con I can Connor, you, you, you're, yeah. play you're playing Warhammer. I'm so proud of you. Right? Well, I mean, I, I was playing freaking uh, Vermintide. That counts, doesn't it? He that likes space. Sound. He, he likes space bef more than he does fantasy. Uh, it depends. Anyway. Uh, been doing that. Um, Zito, I have caught the uh, the realistic battle simulator bug. I might be doing yes! that this weekend. Tabs. Uh, I, just, I just I just have to unlock all the the extra characters. And uh, I played Enter the Gungeon for the first time ever in my life, uh, like two days ago. 
uh, or actually no, yesterday, and I had a lot of fun. Uh, Zito, I'm gonna have to try that Blazing Beaks game. As yeah. as far as as far as games on brand like Japanese and whatnot, I'm still looking for more. Uh, I've played the shit out of Sekiro. I don't know what else to do with it, but mm -hmm. eh, we'll figure it out. Uh, well, all right. Thank you so much. Uh, I like to yeah. wish a happy birthday to someone in the chat who is very oh, kind and ooh. has donated a lot of subs and a lot of bits to this wonderful community of everybody and on all their different channels. Everyone's communities. Everyone's yeah. for commu yeah, yeah. communities. His name is Probate. If it's your first time here, you oh. may not know his name. Probate just got done with a 10-hour birthday stream. That was funny shit. That was funny shit. Mad for, lad. For a thousand bits. Guess who got done with a 10-hour stream? I'll give you a hint. It's me, Monty. I can't believe the knowledge I sought was so mundane. Unless there is another meeting. <laughs> Meaning. Dun, 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 dun. I would like to wish a very happy birthday to the glorious emperor, Robinagiari. Thank you so much, Probate. Holy shit. Now, there is a lot of bit dropping going on here, so I'm going to quickly introduce myself oh, and try yeah. and get through all this. Three minutes. Rap God. Rap God. Go. Uh, my name is Takahata101. This is my channel. Uh, I, on tomorrow, we have more MNW. There are going to be some people going to jail because revenge is better is, is a dish best served frequently. But nonetheless, uh, we're continuing with the Inquisition arc. It's been a lot of goddamn fun so far. We'll find out. Probonaga is actually Mr. Money in the Bank, and uh, our friend Edward Bosco is still the champ. This will be fun. This will be God fun. God damn it. This will be... Oh, this will be <sighs> fun. But I want to mm -hmm. thank... I'll get a little... <laughs> me, me, me. <clears throat> the Dream Dominion. Kiss First Assassinator. Man. Lunatic Crow 84. Oh, I, Beast. Bernie Cinders. Cole Man. Triple Zero. Fatoey Sphinx. Karate Eagle. Argent Lyal 13. Alpacas and Top Hats. Crow the Immortal. Lasume O1 the Robot. Zero Smith. Zanuel Kuhn. Warfay. Six Tails. Triangle 6. What? 13 Zerg King. Blackfoot Ferret. Dragon 124. Gear Cannon. Big SXSI, Morph PWG, Bet Rudd, Brett Rudd, Zandros, Project Zeta, just another clone. As well as Deforma 624, Fire S, Kino the Kitty, Augie Jr., Big Art 61991, Steve Tomato, Mr. Fuck em Up 2001, Lost Snail, Star Trek 17, Helios 575, Unholy Hot Sauce, Mark Wolf, High Ro. Hi Hi, Orogatix, and Cartoon Kitsune. Thank you all for the subs. Not do the bits. Uh, 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 mm. uh, two minutes, go. Uh, I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. Lyrics coming at you with supersonic speed. Thank you so much. If you donated 100 bits, thank you so much. I probably won't be able to read the message right now with the time I'm, I have. Shadow is thanks for the 1,000 bits. Auntie, Ma Auntie Monty is the best. Aw. Auntie Monty. Blackfoot Fair with know. the over 9,000 bits. Have some Canadian bag milk, guys. Good for the bones. Thank you so much what for kind the of Eastern heathens. What you is the that? For? That's we go. We our, our ancestors traveled to the West to get away from bag milk, Blackfoot Fair. But thank you for the over 9,000 bits. That's so much bag milk. Uh, Sean Chai, thank you for the 400 bits as well. I would like to thank Probenagayari for the 1,000 bits again. Viral Tech for the 1,200 bits. I'll bleed purple and Dracadia. I'll bleed purple and Dracadia sucks. No wonder panic left. By the God. <laughs> Renfield 88. <laughs> bits for luck. We'll need it. Hero Shepherd, thank you for the bits. Derpy Doogie, thank you for the bits. Lovely Lower Life, thank you for the bits. The Vector Sheep with the 500 bits. Hey, guys, just one and two. Say hi before I head to the desert with my father. By the desert, by the way. Bees make honey. Panic makes bloody. Ooh. My dude, eighty-five oh, no. with a thousand bits. Leave the leave for. Boot How camp. dare you reference that? <laughs> My dude, eighty-five, one thousand bits. Leaving for boot camp soon. I'm really gonna miss you guys. Well, we're excited to have you when you come back, dude. And don't forget to check out any of the any of the, the podcasts anywhere you can. Real fast here, and uh, Sage the Omni Geek. Thank you so much for the one thousand bits and the final bit drop. I'd like to say thank you for it. If I missed yours, I do apologize. I'll get you back. Then smoke Sanji with the twenty. Thousand bits. Ch -ch -ch Bang! This is my throne. All hail the new bit boss, Vin Smoke Sanji. Okay. I think you died on my response. Alright, bye go? chat. <laughs> bye chat. Bye chat. We love you, chat. Oh shit.
Oh, God. When last oh. we left our heroes, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Tass the Cobalt Ranger, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Borky the Orc Barbarian, and a newfound friend in Victor, the Half-Elf Rogue, the party finally caught up with the paladin known as Pilchard and confronted him in the woods. After some self-reflection and a dinner of crows, the party is now scattered in the dark woods of Tricadia, with werewolves encircling their tired and ragged party. With howls at the cusp of the wood's edge, the party scrambles ahead. Oh, so, as you guys are like kind of just taking a moment to breathe, you begin to hear, see glints in the woods as the lights uh, are still, should be present at this point still. And you begin to hear movement in the crunching and breaking of, of twigs and leaves. Uh, perception check to see if we can see anything in there. Oh, ooh, 17. Oh, that other nat one. There's a lot. Oh, i Uh, Pilchard, like, grabs, like, a full bottle of brandy, looks to you guys and goes, I think we should go. That's a good idea. But where yeah, are we going? Need... The opposite Anyone direction of them. All right. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Can I roll a survival check to see if I can find civilization? Yeah, absolutely. What did I roll? Come on, baby. I rolled a nine. A nine? This is really, really dark, and there's a lot of different lights. Borky's also going to... It's hard to, to tell, but you, you, you do have a bit of a path to use. All right, well, let's run. Can, can all right, we all roll you guys begin to run. I'm going to say only the people who are trained gotcha. in it will do okay. so. Not high, said the bard. <laughs> <laughs> the two... The two. Quaint bards. The city, um, the city's mine, you guys, wilderness. You guys begin to run. Um, your feet clatter across the ground. You begin to hear snarls coming from the woods, flashes of teeth and fang, <laughs> as galloping werewolves begin to chase after you. So I'm oh, ducking in and out of the woods. <laughs> uh, uh, I think they're after us. <sighs> you think they like us? Because I think they like us because we went after the birds. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can buy some time. Greckles turns around, throws up his hands. Yo, that's Kai! Oh, wait, no, hang on. Uh, there we go. Oh, excuse me. Tokaisen! Mutologist! I'm gonna drop Obscuring Mist in front of him, see if I can just slow them down. I know it won't stop them, but okay. it may spook them. Uh, Blast of Mist comes out. I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh, oh Lord. Boy. Oh, 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 Lord. We are in a chase sequence ah, of that's combat. A, that's oh. an initiative if I've ever seen 21. one. 21. 19. Nice. 12. 12. 12. I do apologize. I do apologize, Monty, if for jumping the gun on that. I wasn't no, aware. It's fine. That's what's going to start this combat, though. Okay. I can't wait to hit things at disadvantage. It's my favorite oh. part of combat. Oh, we're we, running. No, we're not fighting. We're running. Greg, Greg, we both have the same uh, initiative modifier. So which one of us wants to go first? Uh, You go ahead. I'd rather take my turn last so I can react appropriately to the situation. Okie dokie. Yeah, oh, the Tylenol. Go, Roger. The Tylenol is starting to work. Greg, oh, and Oh, poor rat. Mm. You know, I'm used to running from guards. This is a bit different. I'm pulling out the metal dice, everybody's favorite. No. Uh, yeah, right, but then there's just as hairy, though, I think. <laughs> Two seconds here. Just gotta pull out. Oh, what? Uh oh. They couldn't smell any worse. My post it note tab. I lost my lycanthropes here. Oh no. Oh no, they have no stats. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yes! Yes, yes. yes. actually. Yes. yes. Do we still have our temporary hit points from last fight? You do. Yeah. Okay. I burnt through mine, right? Yeah, I burnt through mine. I also burnt through mine. I still got four of mine left. That's I am at full HP with those temp okay, hit I, points. Okay, I used Frenzied Rage, so that means I have a point of exhaustion. You have exhaustion. What does yep. that mean? Uh, one point of exhaustion means you have disadvantage on ability checks. Oh, sh Shoot. But not attack rolls. Yay! That's the one I was worried still, about. Still, though. Yeah, it's still not great though. You are pretty so you tired. Can you can swing hard, but you can't jump for shit. Um. Oh, I gotta roll for Pilcher too. He's probably not gonna have the greatest initiative. No, Pilcher is not a very nimble man. Hmm. Rat be nimble. Rat be quick. Rat jump over. The werewolf. All right, Task, you are up first. You see the obscuring mist, di uh, like kind of dim out, and you can see just faintly the glowing red eyes 
and like a bit of like the white of the teeth kind of brimming through this cloud as this big giant claw kind of sweeps around. Well, I'm going to keep running the moment something enters my field of vision. Uh, I'm gonna ready action to fire. Okay. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. Okay, so how, uh, I'm guessing, what, what, does it matter where we're positioned? Are we just running, like, uh... Like... You guys are just running in a group at this point, so... Can I angle myself to the back a little bit? Absolutely, you can. Borky's gonna angle himself to the back a little bit, because Borky's got, he's the widest of everybody. So... <laughs> yeah. And your back can never be too big. Borky is going to, how far away are they from Borky? Can he hear their... Oh, they're, like, 60 feet away. Like, they're... Oh, they're 60 feet away? Uh, I got kind of really nothing on me right now so can i hold a defensive action instead yeah you can hold your action to wait until something appears i'm gonna hold my action right. assuming for this you guys are using your full movement every turn yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so okay panic it is now your turn okay do i get an action and a bonus action you do yes all right this is a chase sequence, though, so if you, like, were to, like, oh, I go up and stab it, you're gonna prevent from moving. Like, if you do something that would stop you from moving, you stand still. How far away are they? About 60 feet. 60 feet? Yeah. Nope, that won't reach. Um, And I'm not going to fall back. But this will work. I'm going to activate... I'm going to use a bonus action to activate... Wait, is it a bonus action? About to find out now, aren't we? It is a bonus action. I activate Mantle of Devilry. Okay. Um. That'll give everybody a boost to, to running away. Nope. Oh. This is different. Oh, okay. Uh, activate Mantle of Devilry. And I'm going to cast Command Flee on one of them. Command Flee on one of them? Yep. Wisdom okay. saving throw. Wisdom save. Uh, that is going to be a 13. Nope. He flees. Nope. All right. <laughs> one of the werewolves, which I usually see kind of burst like out of the cloud now, like about to howl, kind of <gasps> pulls in the air a bit and then immediately like does and 180 and just runs the opposite way. And the other werewolves kind of turn and look, and then they immediately keep barreling towards you, kind of ignoring that mm. one. Bizarre. <laughs> uh, just and, scared, little puppy. And then can I hold my action? No, you just used it. If you use your so, bonus action, your action, you can't, you can't, you can't hold an action. Beans. It takes, it, to hold an action in truth takes every part, like your entire turn. Hmm. Sometimes I let you guys have movement because I feel nice, but technically I shouldn't be letting you guys move. Holding an action takes your movement, your bonus action, and your action to do a held action. Uh, well, in that case, I <laughs> will cast Shatter. Okay. Uh, my last level two spell slot. I, I'm just going to aim for like a big group of them. Okay. So... That's going to be... 14 thunder damage, and they need to make a constitution saving throw. Con save, okay. That's natural one for the first one. Oh! Okay. So, I'm just gonna note it down one second. Second one. That's a, that's a six. It's a fail two. Yeah. And then the last one is... Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be an eight, so they all fail. Thunder I'll take damage. 14 thunder damage, then. All right, one second. Let me just calculate this super fast. One. That's 14 thunder damage. That's the thing that's down to that. And then this one is going to be. All right. Oh, wait, no, no. That's going to be that. I that. All right, you. perfect. Yeah, it's there's this huge, raucous explosion of sound. And you hear wh whimpering and like, a, like three distinguishing yelps in this fog cloud as these other werewolves, like, one comes out and its its arm appears to have been, like, snapped, and it's, like, trying to run on it still, and it's just pursuing you, this bloodlust kind of driving it forward. Okay, well, it, it might not have done much, but it slowed him down. All right, Greckles, it is now your turn. How long is the line of werewolves that's barreling down towards us? Long? They're kind of all three in, like, a like a um, triangle position, like a goose trail 
diamond right. formation. Well, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just, I'm just thinking. If I throw down caltrops, it's only five foot. It's only five foot space. So I'm trying to think like visually, would that cover like a third of their group, half their group, based on the line that's coming at us? Or probably one third, like one. Gotcha. They're pretty. Um, they're being pretty smart about spreading out, so you like you can't just hit them in a line or trip them up with something. Okay, hang on a second. I want to make sure I do this right. Okay. Greckles brings his hands together. Uh, and just just shouts Genjutsu, and um, I will. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, I will cast Silent Image. Uh, okay. As um. An illusion of Countess Beatrix comes oh. out from the woods. Ooh. Oh, shit. Not bad. Uh, um, the the spell save DC is 13, so... Mm, and it's a wisdom, I'm assuming? It is... Uh, it also emulates spiritual pressure. Oh, investigation check. Oh, this should be... Okay, pretty average. So the first one... Uh, that's a 10. That fails. Immediately, like, stops in its place as this image of Beatrix steps out of the woods and just does, like, a quick turn. Like, this elegant sort of, like, on-point turn with the cane. Mm -hmm. And, like, puts down the cane in front of them. And the first world just, like, stops immediately. The second one, who's been quite hurt by the shatter, that's a natural one. Nice. Immediately stops as well. And then the third one, who's a very big werewolf, like quite large, kind of gray mane werewolf. Mm. Uh, that's going to be a 12, so they all fail. Mm, and immediately nice. stop and like whimper and kind of all their fur puffs up in like terror as they look up at this image of this vampire countess. And they're kind of like, <laughs> they kind of stop and you guys keep on running. All right, boys, let's uh, keep going. <laughs> task, you hear a rustling from the woods to the side of you. Immediately, a set of jaws jumps out of the woods. I need you to roll for an attack that you were holding as a werewolf bursts out of the woods. Alrighty, using uh, silver arrows, by the way. Yep. Good prep. Nice. That'll hit. 14. Ooh, good. Okay. They're werewolves. They don't wear any armor. They're, They're big, big targets, too. Yeah. Alright, so nine. Uh, I don't have any magic, so that's not going to do anything. My second attack, if it does hit, I get Colossus Slayer. Ooh. Natural one. I'm gonna roll for severity for this. Damn, you got plus nine. Okay. One okay, five. <laughs> okay. Five, not severe. You go to shoot, and by the time the werewolf has like pounced down on you, you manage to like slip underneath it with your small form and your squirmy ability. You manage to slip out of its grasp, but your arrow strikes across a tree and it does not hit the werewolf at all. And it is currently amongst the group of you guys. Um, Borky, you also had a held action to attack. At this point, this thing would be within your range. Can I grab it? it just pounce. Can I grab it and throw it away? Essentially. <laughs> you know what? Sure. <laughs> Borky's gonna grab it. I'm gonna want to grab it by the back of the neck and by its tail and fucking just chuck it back into the woods while Borky's hey. running. What do I have to roll for that? One second. I'm just gonna double check something really fast here. Why is oh this is good. Uh, you would have to make an athletics check against it's either athletics or acrobatics, which is a grapple technically. Oh no, and I this and is... you have disadvantage. Yeah, on okay, I'm not gonna exhausted. do that. Damn it, damn it, I can't, I can't do it. Can I try and smack? Can I try and like not stun him with the flat of my flat of run fault? Or there is a shove action you can make. Ooh, can I do shove? Can I you shove? For him? You you forego your your damage to shove a target. I will do that. All right, so roll to attack. All righty, no problem. And that is a 18 to hit. That'll hit. I'm gonna crack him on so the back of the head. Crack I'm him on the side of the head double, with the flat of the blade. Boom. I just wanna double check this super fast just to make sure I'm doing this correctly. No worries. Just give me two, two seconds here. Actions and combat dropping to H0, HB. Oh, that might be important later. Uh, range attacks, ready in action, dodge, help. Uh, melee attacks, grappling, shoving a creature. Using an attack action, you make a special melee attack to shove a creature. Um, if you're able to, okay. Uh, the target must be no more than one size larger than you, and a werewolf is a medium creature, so you're fine. Okay, okay. 
Uh, oh, okay. Unfortunately, you do have to make a strength athletics check contested by the strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics. Since it was a held target. Can, can I, I'm going I'm to try and be a suck up here. Because it was a held action, can I have it without disadvantage? Um, because I was preparing. No. I was really. Mm. Yeah. No. Well, I got to show. Well, I already, I, I already swung. The I will say this. I will say this. If you want to just change this to an attack, because we didn't know, you can change that to just an attack. Or you hit That's him with fair. a sword. <laughs> That's six it, slashing. It, can I hit him in the legs? Nice. <laughs> yeah, you hit him in the legs. Uh, but he's pretty bulky and pretty strong, so it doesn't. It's kind of like a grazed wound on him. He kind of, <laughs> kind of looks up and snarls at you. Uh, at this point, on the other side, another werewolf bursts out on the left side, um, oh, and it's gonna go. It's gonna go for Pilcher. Oh no! Not the puppo. Uh, and completely misses. That's gonna be a twelve. And Pilcher, it just like bangs against his armor, and he kind of like chest thrusts nice. and kind of like shoves it back, like with his two manacled arms. Mm. Uh, as the werewolf gets kind of trampled underneath you guys. <laughs> um, I would like. Victor, since your turn is next, I want you to make a perception check for me. Oh, jeez. Perception. Okay. Perception. That is a 17. Nice. You see two more werewolves kind of like between like the, the shifting of the trees as you're running. You just see glimpses, like like snap photos of two more werewolves, like kind of keeping pace with you guys and kind of moving forward. It appears they're taking their action to dash. Hmm. Oh, those were the two that were chasing us. No, they're two new no. ones you haven't two seen. Two new, yet. oh, geez. So they're keeping up with us. They're not in front of us, right? You count in total eight now that there are oh, eight werewolves pursuing you guys. Okay. Uh, I, I I, guess I relay that. Uh, we've, uh, we've got a little bit more company than we expected. I fucking uh, hate this country. Victor, <laughs> it is now your turn. Okay, well, uh, there's still one werewolf with us, right? Kind of. Yeah, there's two currently that have, like, come into your guys' oh, combat range as you're running. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, so I have this thing called a mobile flourish where I can attack some uh, someone and then push them away. Can okay. I possibly push one werewolf into another? I will say yes. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to mobile flourish, and I didn't know this. I thought my bardic inspiration was a d6. It's not. It's a d8. Oh. So, um, yeah, level. I expend a bardic inspiration. Uh, I also attack with my toothpick rapier. I'm all right, all right, Harry. It was fun, but this is our group. Hutcha! Okay. All right. That will hit. Yep, Multiple I stab damage. him. And then he is moved five feet plus whatever my D8 is rolled. Yeah, ten feet. Ten feet, nice. And that's seven and five damage? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, no, no, not the... Wait, is it? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that uh, is yeah, extra damage. damage. Yeah. So that's going to be... That's gonna be twelve points of additional damage. I want to believe he just he since he shoves away he hits a fucking low hanging branch like <laughs> just takes like, roll, like a clothesline. I'm gonna roll a dexterity save with advantage for the other werewolf to see if it will pass. Uh, just for curiosity, what is your spell save DC? My spell save DC is a whopping fourteen. Okay. So. All right, Fido. There's only enough room for. First Some. roll is a two, which makes it a four. Or, sorry, a three. Second roll uh, is an 18. So, unfortunately, as the other werewolf is kind of launched, like, thrown into a tree and its back cracks against the wood, the other werewolf has ducked beneath it. It seems a bit more alive and a bit more mobile and just kind of turns and <sighs> snarls as Borky's form kind of gets in between you and it. Right. Uh, and that is my gonna, turn. You're going to run? You're, you're yeah, gonna I'm going to keep, keep running. All right, it is going to try to swipe at you. Okay. Uh, 10, that misses. Yep. You were like, yeah, and it like swings <laughs> and like you, you duck underneath its arm and you run as its hand just <clears throat> lands into that same tree and just rips out this giant claw mark streaking across the bark, Oof. sending pieces all over the place as you guys continue to run. Uh, no autographs uh, today, sorry. It is now Pilchard's turn. Uh, he is going to yell out to you, Greckles. He goes, hey! Bird! I noticed that sword you- Oh, I'm really out of oh, exercise. Bird! What? I noticed the blade you had. Hold it up in the air. They can smell us, so sight doesn't matter. They know where we are, but we need to know where they are. All right. Oh, uh, shit. What else can he do? Because he can't do a lot. <sighs> oh, oh, he's panting. 
He's really out of shape. <laughs> you can tell he's not exactly. He's been drinking a, uh... for ten years, and he's, he's wearing freaking plate mail. Twenty that shit's, years. That's just heavy. Great Scott. Great Scott. Yeah, he can't really do anything, so he's just gonna keep. He's gonna just gonna keep running. All right, that brings us back around to task. You guys are still running, and I want task. To, I want actually everyone now at the top of the turn order. I want everybody to roll perception checks for me. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. Watch out. Uh, that is. Oh, that's a nine. Fourteen. Twenty-one. Four. Uh, Borky, task, and panic. You smell something in the air. It smells like a <laughs> like a campfire or like a bonfire or something. Uh, what general direction is it to us? The way that you're running. Oh, excellent. Dash action. Fuck fighting. All right. You take the full dash action. You just start barreling. At this point, the werewolf is I get on all you. fours and just fucking book it. Yeah. You're oh, like, okay. you're like. <laughs> oh, no. Tash has gone feral. <laughs> At this point, as you look to the side, you see, um, you can see some of the werewolves shifting. And you can't get a good glimpse of where they are. Like, if you were to attack, you would totally miss. But... They are, because you dash, you're keeping pace with them. They are not getting ahead of you. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. Borky feels like he's being done up by Tass, so Borky's going to go down on all fours and also dash action. <laughs> all right, Borky I, I gets on all like, fours and like, dashes. I thought you were going to, like, Jonathan Joestar run. Oh, my God! Yeah, you know what? I'm going to Jonathan Joestar <laughs> run instead. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Panic, it is now your turn. You watch I... as Borky and Task have, like, Sprinted off far ahead of you guys, about 30 feet ahead of you guys. I am going to Sonic Spinball and also do the dash. <laughs> 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 uh, Greckles, hey, it is my turn. And uh, I'm gonna and, oh, oh, and, and, and I, I'm going to spend a use of Bardic Inspiration to activate Mantle of Inspiration. Oh, so nice. now we can use our action, we can use our reactions to move an additional 30 feet. Okay. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, you guys all have yeah. an extra 30 feet. And at this point, oh. Task, you're far ahead of the werewolves to the side of you. And, like, the other ones behind you are, like, long gone. That one that was fleeing is so far away. <laughs> We've been I... living most our lives. Living uh, in. Uh, uh, fucking. <laughs> How dare you? It's, it's, a it's, is, it's, it's a secret orchid. There's technique. literally a dust cloud around you guys. You guys are running, oh. like, Roadrunner style. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. Uh, taking the advice of um, Pilcher, Greckles will hold aloft the Sunblade and extend the light as far as the, the turn will allow me. Um, are there any that are directly behind us, or are they just to the side? They have been thoroughly thrashed. The only one that appears to be trying to keep pace is the one that got the attack of opportunity on, on Rat. The one that's thrown into the tree seems a bit stunned, but it's like just kind of gathering its composer as you're kind of running with your companions. Got it. All right, so I'll do that, and I'll do my 80-foot dash. All right, you just <laughs> it's, it's Naruto like running, past by the way. everybody. It's Naruto running. We have to accept that that's what it is. <laughs> but then how will uh, he hold the sword up? <laughs> it's like in both hands behind his back upwards. Like, At this <laughs> point, bursting out of the trees are the two werewolves that have been following you guys on the side, and they are now trailing 30 feet behind you guys. Uh, but they are going to take their action to dash to match you guys. So now they're, um, they're now at the same placement as Task, Borky, and uh, Panic. Whereas Greckles, you're far ahead, so they're they're just right next to you guys. They can't attack though; that takes their action. Yep. They're like they're galloping on all fours, like keeping up, kicking up the dirt and like puddles as they're chasing uh, behind you. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the only winning play for them is to okay. not actually chase us anymore. Okay, so just want to clar clarify. So Rat and Drunk Dad, Drunk Uncle, Drunkle, Drunkle yeah. Pilchard are behind them. A little bit behind. Yeah, a little okay. bit behind. So now right, there's right. there's there's werewolves in between you and your companions now. Okay, all right. Uh, Victor, it is now your turn. And Pilchard like literally something. He goes, "Oh fuck!" Mm -hmm. He's just kind of running with heavy mail. He's having such a bad time. <laughs> uh, because I see him having a such a bad time. Rat is going to cast Enhance what? Ability and give him oh. cat, Cat's Grace, which means he's a, has advantage on Dexterity checks. And I uh, just uh, Rat just like running beside him clearly panting and like trying to catch his breath but tries to play it off like uh, it's no sweat what's wrong old man <sighs> trying to keep up and then uh i uh, pat him on the back and then uh give okay him cat's grace. 
<laughs> suddenly, right, like he he's kind of like like lumbering along, and then suddenly he's like doing like a marathon runner sprint, like with high knees up, and it's just like <laughs> it's partially goofy looking, but also like really impressive. Mm -hmm. Oh God, he's doing... That, he's doing the cop run from fucking cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Jeez. With like the hunched shoulders, yeah, and that's my turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, and you're gonna run your distance, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm still running. Yeah. Starting okay, you are right behind the werewolves right now. They don't seem to have noticed you. They're kind of <laughs> focusing on the bigger prey. Uh, it is Pilchard's turn. Uh, he is going to take the dash action to now be running against, like, beside the werewolf, and he is going to. Um... Actually, no. Hold on. No, he's gonna move 30 feet with his movement, and he's gonna try and trip them. That's nice. What uh, let's see what we can do for that. Uh... Mommy, yeah, is it okay. wrong that I hear is stepping like like uh, like Steiner from uh? Yeah. <laughs> from FF9. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the best know, character of Final the Fantasy. Best Final Fantasy. The best Final Fantasy ever. All right. Uh, ooh, that's not the greatest. Um, fifteen. So he's gonna try and shove him with a fifteen. So the wolf's gotta. I'm gonna do athletics for them, which is gonna be pretty substantial. No, he does it. He 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 kind of quickly kicks and swings the front paw of one of the wolves, but then th then tumbles down. It is now prone as it lands face first in the gravel. As he's just like <laughs> just kind of running and just kind of like stumbling mm -hmm. a little drunk. Uh, that leaves one werewolf currently that appears to be still keeping pace. Uh, Task, you are now ahead. Um, and as you guys roll up ahead, and as you break through the tree line now, you look out and the city you came from is on fire. Oh, oh shit. I fucking hate this place. What? I you see swarms of crows flying through the air. You see no werewolves, but you see humanoids uh, stalking around what it looks like. And the place is burning. You see people fleeing. Um, uh. Roll... Mm. I'm gonna say Victor, mm -hmm. Panic. I'm not gonna have Pilcher roll because Pilcher's having too much fun being young again. Um, Victor and Panic roll a history check. I wanna go home. I assume this isn't an early New Year's. Oh. Soft 20. 13. Soft 20. Uh, you're just like, oh wow, this sucks. Panic, this is a vampire attack. This is an orchestrated Shit. vampire assault on this Shit. town. Shit, shit, shit! Vampires! What? Where? They're attacking the city. Oh my god! Hey, we, this is... We hopped out of the frying pan and into the proverbial and literal fire. Uh, as, you are, as you are spanning, I would like task, I want you, because you're a soldier, I want you to roll a perception check for me with advantage because you're a soldier background. Yeah. Nice. 17. 17. You see military wagons rushing out uh nearby where you guys are but they are covered wagons and they are currently like barreling out and are being pursued also i just point out to everyone pursued by pursued by humanoids which you can only assume are not humanoids uh, anymore they're making uh -huh. they're making you notice that all some of them are hulking gray figures that were once Goliaths. What are the, where are the oh, werewolves? Oh no! What happened to the werewolves? The werewolves are behind you, but it looks like as you guys breach the, the, the tree line, it seems like their orders are to stay in the tree line. Like even oh. one of them tries to chase after, he's like, no, we stay in the trees! And it like kind of waits outside. And you even see like there are civilians running into the tree line and you hear screams to follow. Oh, oh my God, this play. This, this panic, this happens. Um, these attacks are not frequent, but when they happen, they're very well calculated. Well, what the and... hell do we do then? What are you guys gonna do? I'm close. I'm we gonna... had to come here during a fucking vampire attack. Well, I'm I'm Borky's just, call Borky's out to just the civilians. Borky's just pointing at the wagons. It seems like the only way to go is the wagons. No, but those people—they're running into the tree line. They'll be killed by the werewolves. We can't do anything about it. Mm. We have to re. We have to. Here's the thing, Borky just yells out, like, like just yells I... out and slams his hand into his fist. Fast, what do we do? Do we go back into the trees, or do we go after those carts and help them out and get a ride out of here? The carts will get us out of here. That's the smarter, that's the smarter idea. Carts it is! Go! Uh, what, what town are we in? 
Uh, you were in the town where you were trying to find Pilchard. Uh, the name is somewhere, but I don't know where. <laughs> okay. I, I'm bad, I'm it's, sorry. It's not the town where you met Rat, though, right? No, it is no, not. this Bar is the okay. second town. Are they Bar going back? The, the difference between this town and Barslet is Barslet is a fort, so there's actually, like, a stone wall barricade around the entire thing. This is, like, a little collection, like, village of, of town, like, little houses and stuff, all spread out, which is the stupidest thing for an attack like this. right? I'm just, I'm just saying, you guys. Rat really yeah. wants to help those people. I'm, I'm going to cast thaumaturgy on myself. Okay. And I'm going to shout, "Stay away from the trees!" Okay. I will roll perception checks for the civilians. I will roll three because there's three individual groups. Fifteen. That one hits, hears you. Oh. Okay. Two groups hear you, and immediately they kind of like turn and they begin to run towards the wagons also. Yeah, I, I I try to help them along, just like, this way, this way. All right, there's now like kind of, as you guys kind of run and conglomerate, you're now in kind of like this huge group and you see like various birds, you see those crow-like creatures besieging farmlands, eating and killing like cows. It's like kind of horrific to see it at a distance where a cow gets slashed across the belly and then immediately like just Ugh. like, Almost like ants coming out of at an ant hill. Oh. Like crows are coming out and just like ripping the cow's flesh to pieces. It sounds like land. Oh god, they're air piranha. Basically <laughs> air piranhas, yeah. Oh. No, that's uh, the worst money. of both those things. Money, I'd, I'd like to do something a little creative if I can, because I don't okay. know how homebrewed this this particular sunblade is. Um, I'd like to hold an action uh, to where if a vampire I can a vampire I can see gets close enough, I. Pull, like I, I flash out the uh, sunlight as far out as possible, just basically kind of flash banging them with sunlight. It's, it's not. It's like a lamp. It's not really okay. like a flash bang. So okay, that's what I. That's what I wasn't sure. You about. have it with your party. You make a radius of sunlight, though. So yep. you I'll are just... you are the center. You're like Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. You got the chalice. Everyone's safe inside that circle. Cool. All right. Well, then I'll just keep that sixty foot up. All right, you guys are running in panic. You smell and see something kind of glowing. I would like, uh, who was, who was topside? Oh, it was Task and it was Borky. Task and Borky, I want you guys to roll perception checks with advantage. Okay. Yay. Topside. Mmm, <gasps> 22. 21 or 23. Wow, even better. You see the familiar sight of running hellhounds as well. Oh, Servants. Shit servant demons that are now chasing after the cart. At this point, you guys have run your full distance and for even, even Pilchard's keeping up. Um, you guys make it to the carts and you watch as a, like a young soldier kind of leans and goes, get in, get in, get in. He reaches in, they're very substantial carts and kind of grabs you guys. Who goes first? Who's gonna grab his hey, hand? Just first? jump in. <laughs> All right, he grabs you like by the wrist task and he just yanks you up. It's a pretty tall cart and yanks you in and you kind of stumble in. Uh, you see in, in the cart, there are uh, four different soldiers uh, and uh, there's two there's two wagons. You're getting in, there's a left wagon and a right wagon. Um, I'm just gonna make sure I make, make sense of who gets in which one. Uh, a couple of the civilian, civilians clamor in as well. Um, at this point, the, the hellhounds are kind of almost to the wagon. Is anybody gonna stop and do anything? Borky is. All right. I guess we're still uh, running with the wagons, right? Yeah, the wagons are, like, running and, like, picking people up at the same time. Borky's gonna go into his last frenzied rage. Okay. Borky goes into a frenzied rage, and can I... Do I get a third attack for this, then? Uh, you to go into the rage is a bonus action. Okay, well, Borky's gonna go into a frenzied rage nonetheless. Expend one more rage, and Borky's gonna swing down with Ronfold and make as much noise as he can. All right. Just roaring from the top of his lungs. Ah! Ah, top of his top of his damn lungs. 18. 18 will hit. And that is 12. 10. 12. 12. I'm, oh, I'm 12. Raging. Yeah, 12. I'm That's right. 12 slashing. Yep. And Borky's going to swing again, roaring with the top of his lungs. 16. That'll hit also. And also 10. 12 altogether. 10. All right. Very, very nice. Nice. That's 24 damage. Solid. It's going to be yeah, that's pretty substantial damage. Can I just do it? Can I say, can I yell something out in the middle of swinging these? Yeah, you can. Get all the ladies and the youngies into the truck. I'll hold them off the best I can. Truck is the Orcish word for wagon. Yes, it is. T R U K K. <laughs> I'll start up the horses. 
<laughs> just puts a key right, in their um, ear. <laughs> while while running, Monty, um, I would love to cut the Jutsu fireball one of these bastard dogs in the face. Okay. Are you sure you, you want to do hell. fire on a hellhound? Yeah, they're hellhounds, man. He's, he's doing it. Roll, roll the hit. <laughs> Heal back all the damage I just did. He doesn't. Me. He doesn't know. That's a ten. That's it. Completely misses. You just completely whiff it on the ground as you stumble over a rock as you're trying to keep pace with the wagon. Can I use free action to scream at Greckles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't shoot him with fire. They'll just heal it. Would we know that? Yes. Me and Borky dealt with hellhounds. We fought oh, hellhounds. Gotcha. That's that's where the that's where that's where the, the nuclear spear died. Yeah, it was. Monty finally nuclear. killed it. Greco's wasn't there for that, so he wouldn't know. No, 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 fair enough. Well, yeah, Tash just screams out to him. Don't use fire against them, it will heal them. <laughs> just, just, just that, that, that freaking... <laughs> Never mind. Oh, God. Uh, who isn't in the truck? Who isn't in the wagon yet? I am... Uh, uh, everybody I'm, but Task is currently out of the wagon. Uh, Greco's would love to get in a wagon. All right, Borky, uh, that was your turn. Panic, it is now your turn. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to use a free action to say, Greckles, keep your sunblade out, no matter what. And I'm going to. Uh, is, would it be an action to try and get into the 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 cart? Yes, it would be an action to get inside the cart. Fuck. Because uh, you are physically grabbing someone's arm and they're pulling you in. Could I do a bonus action to talk to the hellhounds then? Uh, you can try. You've never seen a hellhound before. Okay. Well, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen those other uh, mole devil things. All right, I'm yeah. gonna use an action, get in the cart. Uh, I'm gonna lean out the window or wherever I can lean. Out, excuse me, out of. <laughs> and in infernal, I'm going to say, leave now. Your masters are only going to get you killed. And I want to roll an intimidation check. On the hellhounds. Okay. Mm. Oh boy. Mr. Wisdom. This is intense. Uh, 24. 24. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hate this. They got a natural fucking 20. Ah! <laughs> oh. I was gonna give them advantage, but they just immediately rolled a 20, and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, they snarl, and you begin to see their core begin to fume up. Uh, or do you take the hand of the, the guy who's holding it out to you? Yeah. All right, you get yanked into the left cart. So you yeah. task and, and panic, you guys are in the left left cart at the moment. All right. And yeah, as you one. are, as you jump and get into the cart, you hear a woman say, get out of the way! And you watch as she kicks a cannon to the end of the cart, pushes it down, and just takes a, like, a blade and slices through and shoots a fucking cannon off the back of the wagon. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's gonna aim it at the the hellhound that you were fighting. Oh, God black damn. powder. Finally. Uh, well, good. hey, guess what? It's another natural twenty. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, I felt like my intimidation roll helped. I had to pull up a dice roller one second. Yeah, it, it put <laughs> them in position. Smiles. It's I just, just like, <laughs> well, like oh, kicking no. over a cannon, lighting it with your foot still on it is the most badass fucking thing a person can do. By the way. <laughs> they uh, bought my sandwich. They, <laughs> they bought my sandwich. Uh, the Hellhound takes 31 points of fucking cannon damage. It is eviscerated. As it's going to breathe out fire, the cannonball hits it in the mouth and it just explodes the rest of the body. Like, the entire cannonball, like, goes from, from mouth to bottom and the entire thing, it rips into ribbons and fire. Yeah. I tell the rest of, I tell the rest of the Hellhounds, I told you! Uh, that's the one girl who does that, um... <laughs> Fuck. One of the other soldiers who is in the other wagon, appears to be a Goliath, is going to shoot a heavy crossbow at the other hellhound. By the way, how, how how's the girl look? Is she attractive? Uh, <laughs> Not <she's> now! Not... <laughs> <laughs> no, this is very important. Okay. Hank um, slaps her hand away. Just like, not she now. Has, she has, like, light kind of, like, acorn-colored hair that's, like, tied into a braid that runs down her back. Oh, my goodness. Um, and she's like wearing, you know, those little, like, you know, those cadet hats. Oh, Ooh. yes. She's wearing like a cadet hat, but like a breastplate and like really nice knitted armor. Like uh, almost. Yeah. Does and she's just had this big, does giant, like chaotic smile on her face. Does she have a toothpick? This is just for the laugh. Uh, she does not, but she's missing a tooth. Okay. Not Rats bad. Wounds. Not bad. Oh, my hero. Yeah. 
uh, the Goliath kind of just like pulls open the back curtain of the right cart, um, and he shoots and he does hit the heavy crossbow. Uh, the other hellhound. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm jumping around to different pages here. Ooh, that's a solid hit. Yeah, that'll definitely hurt it. Uh, he shoots this giant bolt and it lands right in the chest of the hellhound, uh, which does not look very good. It looks pretty wounded at that shot. It was a very solid shot. And you watch as the the crossbow bolt, like lurches into his chest and he just kind of <clears throat> kind of aims again and pulls it out and reloads. Uh, that ends your soldiers' turns. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. Um, you now see Greckles as you're running. Mm -hmm. Humanoids kind of coming over the hill now. Uh, some of which grab, like, pounce on some of the civilians. Uh, one man is, like, running. He's kind of a heavier set man. <gasps> like, looks like a blacksmith of some kind. Oh, and you watch oh, as this giant Goliath, like, grabs him by the shoulders, pushes him to the ground, and you watch he takes his teeth, as you can see, two protruding fangs, and just cracks and bites right into the neck of his Oh, flesh. no! Um... Uh but as another one kind of runs up to chase up with you, the glow of your light, it like begins to burn them like acid and it kind of uh, uh, like kind of reaches back and like kind of wipes its face as like smears of flesh juice kind of kind of rake off of the, the, the skull. Nice. Um, for this and any of subsequent turns until it's accomplished, Greckles is going to get next to Pilchard, try to help him into the carriage, try to get him in the same carriage. Once that is done, he's going to keep that light out and at maximum 60 foot radius and try to find an avid paladin to get those damn manacles off so Pilcher can do something. I have got to go to the bathroom. It is an emergency, but that's what I'm trying <laughs> okay. to do. Okay, <laughs> okay. You do. You kind of like, Pilcher's kind of running and uh, in the right cart, another soldier is like reaching down and Pilcher's grabbing it, but he's like pretty heavy. He's in that armor and Greckles just kind of runs up and pushes Pilcher like butt end up uh, as the health action. Uh, it is now the Hellhound's turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> the one, the one remaining Hellhound. Ta-da! Uh, it unhinges its jaw, and anyone who is not in a cart, which means task and panic, everybody needs to make. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm not in a cart. <laughs> you're in a cart. I'm seeing you and Task do not have to make a save because you're in a cart. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but everybody else who's not in a cart needs to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Okie dokie. By the way, you all have eight temporary hit points because I used Mantle of Inspiration earlier. Yeah, Huzzah, you. we do. That does 17. Stack, what is it? 17. What is the saving throw again? Dexterity. Dex. You do not have disadvantage on saving throws. Only 15! On okay. Uh, looks like you guys all pass. Yay! <laughs> Wait. Right. Uh, oh, right, Greckles. That's one. Greckles. Greckles needs... We need a dexterity save for Greckles. Uh, you can roll for him, can't you? You're yeah, the DM. I'm just gonna have... I'm just gonna have to roll for him, which is yeah. fine. Du, du, du. I'm pretty sure you could actually pull up his character. He sheet. Yeah, should there you go. be fine. Yeah, he's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Pilchard. Probably say something in Dwarven oh, again. He, he did a Christ air into the fucking back of the car. Uh, wait, does does Cat's Grace give any bonuses to saving throws, dexterity saving dexterity, throws? Dexterity, yes. So uh, his advantage. Does he? Let me see. Could you click it? Could just you click, click it again. again for me? Yeah, I'm I'm looking for it. Uh, uh, Cat's Grace. Yeah. Uh, advantage on dexterity checks. It just says checks, not saves. Uh, I, you know what? I'll say advantage. Fuck yeah. Me. Yeah. All right, neat. Congratulations, uh, you got that a dirty twenty. Didn't help at all. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Uh, yeah. Didn't, Gre no, Pilch didn't Greckles take... use his turn to get Pilchard in? No, Pilchard has. He has. He well, no, technically not. He's just trying to get him ahead. To be honest, Pilchard's dragging behind because he's still like wearing heavy armor. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, everybody takes 10 points of fire damage. Oh, shit. Uh, and Task and Panic, ironically, the ones who are resistant to fire don't take any damage whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, takes... high five. <laughs> yeah, fire resistant bloodies. Uh, Pilcher does take 20 points of fire damage. Oh, oh my ass! Which does hurt him quite substantially. He is looking burnt singed and not at all happy about the situation but it is his turn and he is going to stumble onto the wagon as he gets grabbed and yanked in uh victor it is now your turn okay so there is only one hellhound correct uh yes sorry i needed to cough i am going to step up to the hellhound and okay. uh i'm uh, pulling out my harp and uh, i stare down you are hurting the people in this country. You're not welcome here, and I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. Okay. Okay. At third level. 
I take a big pluck of my heart. Bridging. You should save. Oh. Leave these people alone! This is gonna be an 18 constitution saving throw. Oh uh, yeah, it takes half. Takes half, so that's gonna be yeah. 9 plus 8, that's gonna be 17, so half of that would be 8. 8, yeah. <sighs> Uh, you blast it, uh, and it kind of staggers on its feet a bit, but it's still keeping pace, and you begin to see now crawling over the hills about ten more hellhounds now. Oh, God. Just All these right. burning hellfire embers now rolling over the hills. <laughs> just seeing, seeing how it's not that affected, uh, Rats is like, uh, perhaps I could do, uh, some more rehearsal, and then I keep running. Okay, like, one of the guys in the car goes, GET IN! Like, just like, what the fuck yeah, are you yeah. doing? Uh, Tass, you, to were in, you were in the cart, but you can make shots now that you're inside. Hooray! As you watch, as you watch the cannoneer lady now just like, just like, I need another one! I need another one! As she's like trying to like reload a fucking cannon in a wagon. So, while she's doing that, I just like, I hold up my bow and I use the, uh, I use the rim of the cannon while she's reloading as a, like, a place to like rest my arm. I got you covered! Keep, uh, keep loading it up! And I take shots. Uh... Which one has taken damage and is still alive? Uh, there's only one remaining that is within your range. Oh, well, then obviously pot shots. Kablam. All right, it has taken damage as well. That one hit. Nice. All right, so... Six. Six. And... Colossus Slayer. Hunter's Mark. Oh, Colossus Slayer. Right, you're right. Sorry. I gotta add that on here. It's not on here. Three. Nine. Not bad, not bad, not Second bad. Second shot. 21. 21. Totally hits. Nine. Oh. Nice damage. You shoot it in one leg and then the other, and it kind of stumbles and staggers, and it's like snapping at the leg of a civilian, but you just manage to shoot it and stagger it where it can't like yank them away. Uh, you see now any of the civilians who haven't made it are currently just being eaten by these vampires spawn behind you guys who are staying safely outside the rim, but like... So many people are like running as fast as they can, but there's just some people who either trip on rocks or trip over on each other and then they just get immediately eaten. Um, it is now. Ba, 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 ba. It's now Borky's turn. Is there anybody Yay. still struggling to get into the safety area? Uh, I mean, if you were to run out, it'd be too late immediately. Like, there is a group of people, but there are like basically there's just a lot of vampires, is what I'm trying to get across. And um, leaving that safety area would mean probably death. So, at the moment, civilians are piling in. There's probably about 10 or 13 that have now loaded into the wagons in this time. Um, the remaining being two people who are pretty close to the wagons at this point, and then you guys. Can Anybody I... else who was a straggler or who was just, like, behind are now dead. Can so I it's just people the... who are next to you. Can I grab them by the, just under the arms and just jump into the cart with them? <laughs> in my... uh, The two civilians? Yeah, I'm also raging. Roll an athletics check. It'd be just straight a roll because you're raging. Yay. Let's check. 11? 11? You can grab one who's a woman who's a bit lighter. The man is a bit heavier, though. I'll grab the uh, lady. And you just, you jump into a cart. You are in the right cart. And I hold up my hand for the guy's hand. All right. On his turn, he will he will grab onto you. Uh, Borky, you are in the right cart. Uh, it is now Panic. You are inside the cart still. As this girl's like, that got this giant ass cannonball. This thing is huge, by the way. This this cannon is taking up way too much space, <laughs> and shouldn't probably be be shot from this sort of structure. But don't don't. She believes in herself and her dreams. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh the the Hellhound is still up, correct? Yeah, it is still up and it's still running. All right. Um, how many civilians are on the outside of our little radius here? Just the one guy who Borky is like reaching out his hand. At this point, the guys grab Borky's hand, but he's not in the wagon yet. Okay. Uh, in that case, I am going to look at the hellhound. I'm going to say, be gone, fiend. And I will cast dissonant whispers. Okay. Could you click that there for me? Yep. Needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Takes seven psychic damage. Uh, that is a six for its wisdom save. Nope. <laughs> and as you point at it, its head explodes. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Like, uh -uh. Pieces mm. of, of fire and like brimstone splatter against the ground and also on the wagon, which begins to sort of take fire. 
but immediately a few other soldiers begin to pat out the flames immediately. Impressively disgusting, Panic. Uh, that happens point, sometimes. Guys, at this point, you guys are out of combat, technically, as you guys all begin to jump in and load into the, the backs of these wagons. I, I jump in the one with the cannon. Okay, that's going to be wrapped in that one. That's the left one. Uh, Greckles will jump in the one that Pilchard was able to get into. Okay, Greckles. And that should be everybody. Doesn't that leave Borky with the other one? Oh yeah, Borky. Oh no, Borky got in the right cart. Yeah, I got in the right cart. So oh, there's, okay. three, there's three in each now. As you guys begin to take off into the woods, the smoldering <laughs> city behind you. Which direction are we going? Are we heading west? North, south, or east. You guys are heading northwest now into the woods, in fat, in like on a trail. Are are there by chance any um, Avon clergy or paladins uh, in they, the part that I that Pilcher and I are in? Uh, the one you are in has a wounded, uh, what looks like a wounded captain, Avon captain, uh, and the rest of them appear to be just soldiers um, of no real description. But the one guy is like on his like clenching his side and is just kind of like wheezing at the moment. Uh, let me just um, double check this. who's who's in what cart here because there's different people in different carts. Okay, let, let me know when you're set. I gotta, I gotta do right. a thing. Uh, actually, no, you're in the cart with the healthy one. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh fucking a. Okay, yeah. Oh, that doesn't. Don't say those things. <laughs> no, it's good. It's fine. Don't don't. No, don't that's worry even about worse. It. <laughs> fine. <laughs> uh, you see a man. Uh, who has a very beautiful mustache. Almost like Charles, or not Charles, um, Sebastian Strong. Mm -hmm. Um, except it's a bit more scruffy. Okay. Uh, he is able-bodied. The left cart contains a captain, uh, who appears to be kind of bigger set guy, and also is the guy who ripped up your ticket. Uh, currently oh. wounded in the cart, being, uh, kind of not really tended to, he's just kind of tending himself. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> fucking A. <laughs> I, made, I made these NPCs when I was volunteering. Uh, who appears to be the captain is wearing a, a kind of like a helm that has a giant feather plume coming out the top of it. Uh, he has the mustache and the armor set, and he goes, What are you doing in the cart? As he looks at you, Reckles. I'm excuse, what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 I'm sorry. Is, is this is this the uh, captain? Yeah, he is the captain. Oh my god! <laughs> so I don't have a lot of time. Can you get these manacles off this man? Mamma mia! Of course I can. He goes oh my god. god! Why is he Italian? <laughs> Wait till you should you try his as a mama's pest on and fucking blow game. your mind. Uh, mm -hmm. the cart rocks side to side. Uh, you watch now as the woman on the left cart is loading in another cannonball and aims it towards what appears to be werewolves that are now running. Uh, behind the wagon, can't really keep pace. The wagon's going really, really fast. Uh, and she just like lines up a shot and just takes out like five werewolves at once. And she's like, yeah! And she just loads in more and more cannons. Uh, Rat will watch just like in awe. Slow motion happens as you watch her laugh, her crazed eyes, like her head rolling back. Oh. As the explosion. Are her arms crossed? <laughs> no, she's like, like fist bumping, like, yeah. Um, uh, at this point, uh, Pilchard's manacles have been taken off, and he's just kind of like, oh. and you guys are taking off in the wagon. The wagon's going full speed at this point, and you guys run and run and run, taking pot shots left and right with arrows and what other goods you have. At some point, she runs out of cannonballs, and she's just like, push it, push it off the wagon, and she, like, folds down the wagon's back. Uh, I'm gonna say everybody who is in the left wagon, which would be Task, Panic, and Rat. I need you guys all roll strength checks for me. And she's gonna roll okay. also. Oh, goody. Oh, both. Both on cannon. Ooh, not bad. Six. Nat 20. Oh, oh my god. god. Mm. Task you, just kicks it. The smaller yeah, mighty. A werewolf is like galloping and like is just about to leap onto the cart and then it opens its mouth and just gets crushed by a cannon. Oh. As you guys oh. just drop it out, and then she just grabs the wagon and <laughs> slams it up. Oh. I I imagine it's sorry. No, no, go ahead. I was gonna say I imagine it's like uh, that scene from Thor Ragnarok where he drops the hammer in the dragon's mouth and it's just boom, just drops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. 
Uh, you guys gallop and gallop and gallop and gallop and gallop, and the horses are panting and kicking. They appear to be armored as well. Mm. Um, you can see through the front of the wagon, they're armored, and you do see there are soldiers in the front also shooting anything that's getting in the way. And then you guys run for an hour, tons of enemies. Second hour comes in, nothing. Third hour, nice. nothing. Fourth During... hour, Nothing. During that time, Rat wants to check any any injuries, like see if anyone's injured, hurt, the or tired. The worst one is the captain. The okay. captain is like feverish, and he has two puncture wounds oh, uh, on his was... arm. He he was the one that was bit, right? Yeah, he was bitten. Mm. Roll a medicine check. Mm -hmm. Oh darn! What will we do? Mm. Well, nothing we can do okay, for him. Seventeen. Uh, yeah, he's. He's contracted whatever has been spreading. Mm. Uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm gonna ask him how he feels. Like shit. Mm. <sighs> Most of the civilians got out though through the tunnels under the city. The ones that didn't listen to us when we came up with these plans, they ran into the woods like fools. <sighs> you you, did, you do know that most of the people running out into the woods, there wasn't a lot. Like, for the population of the town you were in, the people who ran out into the woods were very few, so it was actually kind of weird not to see as many people. Mabel, get the pearls! We must go to the <laughs> woods! As you guys gallop into the night, we're gonna take a break here. Oh, okay. oh Jesus. Oh, it's pee-pee time! Wow, oh, so much for getting home! Alright, so the, the the question is, where I wanted to ask you, Nadine, we, where we first landed to where we were then. We You're heading towards that direction, but a little bit more north. Yeah, so pretty much we're going, uh, pretty much we went straight east to this place through the woods, got there, and now we're heading northwest rather than straight Yeah, west. you guys headed west, and now you're heading northwest with these wagons. Okay. You're kind of, the way it is, you're kind of avoiding that wooded area where you guys first got jumped by the werewolves. Just, Probably for just, a good reason. Just think, just think, guys. Uh, 12 days until we can technically leave. Great. <laughs> you guys have a scrying stone. You can ask for help. Like... No, 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 I, 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 I low-key believe you've set us into what I can only describe as a Mad Max Fury Road-style storyline. So... <laughs> If Mad Max Fury Road took place in Victorian Eldritch, hey, that sounds Lord amazing, and I want that. <laughs> yeah, it's po post-apocalyptic in the sense that everything is right infected. Back. What do the War Boys look like? Uh, uh, we fought them. They're all werewolves. They, they look they, like they wear a, yeah. top hats and have pipes. Okay. Okay. Victorian splicers. I'm, I'm into this. I'm into this idea. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab a cup of tea. I'll be right back. Mm. Gee. I wonder if I have any cookies left. I'll be back. I guess then there was just me. How you doing, chat? You having a good time? What a lovely day. <laughs> uh, my painkillers are starting to work, so I feel better, but it's probably going to be another hour, and then the pain's going to set back in, and I can't take my painkillers anymore. So it's going to be an interesting night. So, see, see, and for people that, w people that were giving me shit about having the Sunblade, no. <laughs> that saved our ass. Uh, he is painkiller. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it is my it's my anniversary. It's my it is my six month or excuse me six year anniversary for being married and my nine month anniversary for uh, being with the gal of my dreams. We decided to get married at the time that we figured out that we actually start dating just to keep the dates simple. Ah. <sighs> Did I ever finish Sekiro on stream? I did not finish Sekiro on stream. I got too frustrated. Go blue. <laughs> oh, Citric, we didn't have a good day. We had a really, really rough night last night. 
uh, both of us in pain, both of us waking up multiple times. And today, today was like a super lazy day. Grimna, thank you for the two hundred bits. Yeah, thank you for them. Thank you for them kind words. I was the one who got you sick. I'm sorry. Uh, what? I got you sick across country. I'm not sick though. I Wait. have, I have, I have horrendous dental pain because of. Oh, that's different. I, Never mind. Different. Yeah, because I had, I had two, uh, I had two crowns that are being put in. The work's all done, Ooh. so everything is all sensitive. But they're not gonna uh. actually get my crowns put in until next week. Ah. Uh. Which Ooh. super sucks. Sorry, man. Are you, are you restricted in what you can eat, I assume? Uh, I mean, anything I eat is going to hurt anyway, just because for some reason my mouth is exceptionally sensitive. Mm. Uh, so, no, it sucks. My painkillers are probably going to wear off in an hour, and it's going to be like, okay, where's the heating pad? <laughs> uh, it's, 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 it's okay, though. I might, I might cheat and try to take a fourth dosage of mm -hmm. uh, acetaminophen, because yikes, do I need it to sleep? hanging in there doing my best it's been it's been it's been hard Haki and i've been having a hard six months but we'll get through it yeah six, all the best man yeah oh man we'll rip that town right Jesus. Oh God! Just like every like how how more the next next thing you know, Monty's gonna come in and then she's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, uh, your your new horses died. Uh, the cart was made out of flimsy wood, so uh, the cart kind of molds down, breaks down." Oh, and down. by and by the way, you've lost a collective two thousand gold worth of gildens. Yeah, yeah. During that chase, uh, you you didn't notice because they rolled really high. Some ravens came in and stole some more gold from you, Borky. Um, yeah. <clears throat> So there were, also... there, there were there were actually a couple people uh, when we were doing probate stream that were like, man, I really want Grickles to get bitten by a wolf. I'm like, look, there's not enough blood for half man, <laughs> half bird, half werewolf. You can only have two out of three. Werewolf <laughs> man. In you're all not half bird. You're full bird. Uh, but I can't. I don't have wings and I can't fly. Uh, just a different type of uh, bird. It just means you're a bad bird. Oh, well, I should become a were-raven then so I can get wings. There, there you go. go. See? Finally. Hi, I'm back, by the way. Hi. Hi. Is I'll it... be right back again. I'm going to turn on the air because it's always hot. Always yeah, hot. I'm going to open my fan up, actually. I want to thank everyone for the subs and bits here. I want to thank Silly Soul 99 Showing love. The 500-bit shiny lamp with the 300 bits. <sighs> Will you play Enter the Gungeon multiplayer in the future? That's a question for someone else, I think. Wait, what? Check. For Gim Gam Celebrations. 400, 420 bits. Blaze it. We got a lot of about 100 Wait, Enter the Gungeon has a multiplayer? Renfield yeah. 88 with 500 bits. Sweet chase. Oh, shit. You feel better soon, man. Try our best. Uh, La Lasker Fuffle. Lasker Fuffle. Think of 1,000 bits. Welcome to Tracadia, where life is a fucking nightmare. Grimnath with 200 bits. Thank you. Marcus Atera with the bits. Tungjima with the bits. Thank you so much. A happy nobody. Dork Knight. Uh, thank you so much as well. Uh, Saiyan Wolf 10 with the 500 bits. Hello. Came in late due to the amazing run I had in. ROR2. First, congrats on your anniversary, you goddamn lucky man. I can only imagine, hope to, I find someone just as loving as your wife. Gaijin. Second, Joe Cat, you had a birthday, so how old are you? I'm asking for reasons. <laughs> blush, 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 blush. Mm, reasons. <sighs> I'm either I'm either 5,000 or 23. One of those. Depends. Are you a lolly or not? Fucking. Oh my god. god. Don't even. Don't even. <laughs> Uh, I want to thank. Uh, I also want to thank Blackfoot Ferret for the leap bit. So much werewolf fun. <laughs> Wait a minute. Bla you have a Blackfoot. That means you're a werewolf. Gino costs about a thousand bits. Just a question, but can't Task command lesser devils with his crown? Wait a minute. They're probably not lesser though. Hellhounds. I don't know if they'd be lesser. Task. I can't believe Task's fucking dead. Task <laughs> freaking. Yeah, I thought it would depend on the challenge rating. Ah, oh, now the ambient crickets. Because we're so, Tricadia. So, 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 Taka, how how you feeling? How you feeling about um, good old Deathwing? I only played it once. It was not. It is not to be a lot of covering your ass in that game, though. My goodness. Robinagiari with a thousand bits. Tricadia, Fantasy Australia. 
<laughs> Jesus. Hello, everyone. I'm back. So does that mean we got to eat the werewolves? <laughs> now we got to stick our thumb up his asshole. Tracadia. Tracadia. So I want might you... accidentally get killed. <laughs> I want you all to think of a confection item for me real quick. Let's take Dunkaroo's frosting, the, the rainbow Dunkaroo's frosting, mm -hmm. and sandwich it between two Oreo cookies. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. okay. It is an object called birthday cake Oreos. All right. Hmm. It's fucking amazing. Huh. I love them. Are you telling? Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit, these snacks. Are you telling? Do I need me to come? Do I need to come over and steal are one? Are you telling? Are you telling me that pure sugar and carbs? <laughs> yes. Fu fuck off. <laughs> and when you put, <laughs> when you sandwiched the sugar <laughs> between the carbs, which are also <laughs> sandwiching sugar. sugar. It's good. I don't know. I got nothing it's with it. It's bread, but it tastes good. Bread tastes good. It tastes good to be bread fat. Bread does taste good. But bread because makes you our, fat. Well, that's the thing. Our bread is apparently, like, very cakey to Europeans. Because mm. it's so sugary. Supposedly. 300 bits well, apparently there's also... That crazy uh... angel lady. Oh, wait, sorry. That's... That's, uh... That's Instrad. My bad. And plus here's uh... 100 bits. But it makes you fat. But it's worth. Same one with 100 bits. Wait. You as old as me, Joe Cat, possibly? Uh, possibly. I'm as old as a lot of people. Screw. Many people who have died have been his age. Damn. <laughs> At least one one hundredth. <laughs> Pupasa one with a hundred bits. Birthday cake Oreos are some of the only Oreos that I can eat due to the, sh the chocolate allergy, and I can confirm it's good as fuck. Ooh, mm. man. Mm. Grocon 12. There's also another Grocon cookie. 12. A thousand There's bits from Shadowy cookie. Sphinx, Zito. I think you just described clown barf Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, honk honk, motherfucker. I'll eat them. Shadowy Sphinx will 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 currently be uh, playing the Game of Thrones to dethrone you. Joe uh, Burnout Vaughn says Joe Cat stop being so young. I don't think he can. You, 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 we're gonna have to be patient with him. It'll it'll go away slowly. Yeah, I'm Asians too, so I won't age. Oh shit! Clown yeah. Captain with a prime sub. Thank you so freaking much. Pretty sure I look the same as I did when I was fourteen too. So there's that. Well, that's a blessing. Yeah. So I just I just look like a teenager off. who forgot to shave. You look like who forgot to shave? I just I just look like a really depressed teenager who forgot to shave. Because. I can see now, now, the way you describe that, it's like I see you walking into a casino and they fucking bum rush you like, sir! Dude, I, I, I get carded for everything. I went to get Mucinex and they carded me. Oh. I went I went to go to the bank and they carded me. <laughs> mm. But yeah, it, it means, yeah, I, I'm really bad at growing facial hair. I don't think I could grow a full beard. It's just so no, patchy. It's, yeah. No, I, I'm you, need, you need that strong northern European blood in your veins. Yeah. All right, Luke a lot with a thousand bits. Happy <laughs> belated birthday, Joe Cat. Watched your Klonoa two video. It was really good. From Thank Luke you. Awesome. I'm so glad. I am back. Thousand bits and Kal Kalena does that give it a fourteen month resub. Thank you so much. Uh, saying Wolf is 10. anyone not here? No, we just wanted to sat down. Saying Wolf Ten with a six month Hi. resub. Oh yeah, I need to re up this. Joe Cat sounds more and more like me, but successful. This is scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> Success is subjective. It is true. And you're, you're never right, you you're never done trying to best yourself. So it's yeah. always, always chasing that dragon. Guys. And one last bit drop. Vince Bogsanji with a thousand bits. Hey, Kurt, I got the Panic Grim Tongue band tee and the Greco snack shirt, but I have an idea for merch for merch car stickers and pajamas. If only that site could make them, Vince Bog. But thank you for the thousand bits. Our stickers bits. are still in limbo. I'm so upset about that. You guys have merch? We do. We yeah, have, yeah, we, we, we do. A, we have a Where? Store. Where? I want to see. Designed by humans, unexpectables. Mm -hmm. Shadowy Sphinx with another thousand bits. Also, Zito, I'm sorry, but chocolate peanut butter pie Oreos are the best. Okay, that's cool. But have you also considered that there's an Oreo cookie that has pop rocks? Oh, uh, I don't know that I would like that. Okay. Listen, don't knock it till you try it because it's raspberry flavored. I, uh, I'm just crazy uh, enough to try it. I've decided. I'm even this... less inclined to try it. By the way, I've decided that, that uh, Tracadia is a is a terrible mix of two places, Transylvania and Pennsylvania. Oh, <laughs> damn. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. It's, All right. It's never sunny in Tracadia. Food down. Everybody's back. Yep. Yep.
I hang on. Some, I hear some with a bowl. I think that's. Either hang on. <laughs> we got one bite that's left. The way I like to feel. Chug, 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 chug. Grimals. Grimal, Grimal right, was prime to give me 250 bits. Go. I'm By the way, guys, good job running away. <laughs> Duh. Oh, yeah. We had no fucking energy to fight anything else. If those no. rolls got in front of you, that would have come and like become an actual combat, and that would have been really scary. And now we're even in less of shape to fight anything. I just, I imagine I was using mantle inspiration, just like fucking <laughs> play, playing the fucking Zelda race theme. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a gunshot in the distance. <laughs> 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 fucking hand! <laughs> Alright. Uh, at this point in the car the carriage, uh, you guys aren't really at a galloping pace anymore. The horses are now just kind of walking, probably also very quite exhausted. Um, there are... In each of these um, carriages, there are four guards and one captain. Um, what is the name of the Italian man that I spoke to? Luigi. Oh my god. <laughs> Round of applause for Brilliant. Mario. Round of applause. Is no, his chat, Mario? To everybody. <laughs> you sound as ashamed as you should Does be. Does he have a brother <laughs> named <laughs> Mario <laughs> Mario? <laughs> what's, 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 his what's his daily job, Monty? He's a captain of the guard. Yeah. Very so he cleans thing. up the shit of the city? <laughs> <laughs> like a blubber? Did his did his breath smell like Italian? It smells like garlic a little bit, yeah. Nice! Luigi, you're a werewolf! Oh, Mario! <laughs> your I'm brother. a snow leopard. Stop anyway. it, Kirk! Anyway. <laughs> Alright. Uh you will note everyone who's on the right side, which would be Greckles, Borky, I think, yep. and Pilchard. There is a giant chest, like a crate, in the center of this wagon. Okay. And what does the chest look like? Uh, roll, roll a history check, Borky. Can can Greckles as well? Because this. Yes. Is, okay. Fourteen. Uh, that's an 11. Wow, Borky. Huh? That sure looks a lot like a chest that I saw in that ship I was on, that pirate ship I was on that one time. Hmm. When I was a stowaway. No! The one I took the one I took to Alavast? Yeah. Borky makes that face like that one guy from Great Teacher Onizuka driving his car. <laughs> <laughs> Borky, are you okay? Uh who's this dish? Borky just kinda taps it. <laughs> the Goliath kind of growls at you. Which Goliath? Uh, one of the Goliaths who's in the cart. He he was the one who's shooting the heavy crossbow. He currently is holding it in his lap and just gives you this like really angry stare. <laughs> he he is younger. You can tell. Um, wearing wearing like a simple breastplate and like like guard attire. Um, his markings like his Goliath markings. He's got a black one that goes like from cheek to cheek across the front of his nose over. Wow. Like it's just this black line that goes over. Uh, and then he has um. That's basically the only face marking you really see is just that one and like a few other ones kind of peeking up from the neck. Uh, he looks very stern as they tend to look naturally. Um, but he's kind of eyeing you, not with like the disappointed glare that Doros would give you, but just like caution and Wait, like. He's been disappointed in me? I mean. Oh. <laughs> um, More than once. Uh, Borky. Okay, when we were on the boat, when I was on the boat traveling over there, did Borky want to break into that thing at all, or was he? Oh, it's not the same. Like it's similar in design. It's not the exact same. Is it, where does it come from? It's yours, right? Borky points right at the Goliath. Is this yours? No. It's vampire made guy. Oh, then why are we carrying it? Uh, one of the, uh, this, this guy comes up, uh, like, black hair shaved at the sides, a big set of glasses, he's got, like, a, a shoulder bag, he's not wearing armor, uh, he looks like some sort of, like, doctor or, like, medic of some kind, there is, like, mm -hmm. a plague doctor mask, like, hanging across his neck, mm -hmm. and he goes, ah, uh, if I might interject. Okay. <clears throat> By all means. Uh, are you, uh, mercenaries? Perhaps? 
Yeah. More, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, we are. Mm-hmm. Okay. Huh. But we come, but we come from a very honorable, reliable hiree. That's true. Uh, that We've would only, be... We have not. We have exactly. We who only wanted it. We, Porky stops himself. Hmm. Are you familiar mm-hmm. with Alavast? Uh oh, that new continent that's currently being discovered at the moment. Let's just say we came from there. Mm-hmm. Oh, seems kind of strange to come back to a place like this, you know, in, from a land of adventure. Um, <clears throat> uh, allow me to introduce myself. Uh, uh Vaughn. <laughs> he kind of extends a hand. How do you spell that? Will take it. V-O-N. Vaughn. He's human. Hello, dear Vaughn. It's just, it's just what? curious about this. Uh, about this chest. Uh, you can, you can call me Doc if you want as well. Oh, okay, whatever okay, you say, Doc, Doc. Vaughn. You wanted to interject, or was that your interjection? Borky puts his ear to the chest. Okay, the moment you do, the Goliath, like, takes the, the, the heavy crossbow and, like, grabs, like, grabs your chin and shoves you back. Do you resist? Oh, you're gonna do kill me? Because I'm curious about the fake. I'm, okay, all right, all right, all right. We are might, uh, Luigi kind of points a finger up and goes, uh, we have all the reason to stop anyone from, t- uh, taking the chest. Oh. Okay. Is it anything that a vampire could track us with? Probably. <laughs> then why do we have it? They probably find us based on the tracks we're okay, making with the damn with the damn cost grackles. We're gonna be fine. The uh, the Goliath kind of looks and goes, "It's called an orb of Noct." Oh, you mean the Night God? Patty, when did nods. you get here? You're not you're not in the cart, dude. <laughs> oh, you mean the Night God? No, you're, you're, you can't <laughs> hear no it. clips back into the Thaumaturgy. <laughs> oh, you mean the Night God? Ha! <laughs> huh. That's interesting. And why? Why do we have it? Are the vampires after it? More or less, yeah. They get their hands on it. It's meant for vampires. What do they do with it? You ever hear of something called Eternal Night? I could put two and two together. Is it like? Okay, here one we orb are. could make a dusk for eternity in one continent. Oh man! More of these orbs are collected, the more night becomes permanent. Darker and endless. So they really shouldn't mm-hmm. get this yet, yeah? <laughs> yeah, we're transporting it to Barcelet and then off the continent. Oh, because mm-hmm. the weird mm-hmm. thing is, I used to saw a crate like this once before when I traveled in a boat. Well, this thing's never been in a boat. Well, not this, but I've seen like it's not yet. Can... I've seen this. I've seen this before, though. It looks. Did, is this the first one that's been shipped off continent? Borky, what are you getting at? No, I'm saying, I, you remember when I told you that story about how uh, I was accidentally loaded in a ship and then I kind of busted out and they just stuck a crossbow on my face and pretty much made me swab the decks and everything. They threw me off the side of a boat right as we got near a shore. Bon kind of bon waggles me and was like, I have a herd of vampire pirates that do coast along on the ocean. Vampire. No way. Or he did they have any did they had did they have any weird fangs that you can recall? Okay, I, no joke. Did is Borky realizing they only came out at night now? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh this slow realization. Just pan on his face. Done. Dun, 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 Money done. Money, would my criminal history uh have any sort of bearing on trying to identify this chest if it was pirate? Based. If you had the sailor background, you could. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, that's, but you don't. oh, that's crazy! I can't believe I can't believe Captain no, <laughs> Captain Ferratu was a vampire. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I would have thought I, I would have thought first mate Ghoul would have been more of a but would have been able to tell me more about this. Man, I'm actually I'm surprised they didn't enthrall you then. Look out! Look. Lookout bat sight really makes a lot of sense now, though. <laughs> oh, man. So, oh, this is weird, though, because if that is a similar box and they were carrying another one of these and they were heading to Alavast, <laughs> oh, that would be weird. That means they got one of those at Alavast, too. Uh, so, so <laughs> Doc, uh, Luigi, is that where we're headed? Is to get this oh, thing We are not off? to head to Alavast. We're, we're, we're heading to a fort in the woods. Well, I meant is, is our end goal to get this thing shipped off. But that is our end goal, but for, for you, how much would it pay to hire your party for perhaps some mercenary work on their way to Barcelette? How long will that take? Uh, well, 
we're going to resupply at the fort, and then we're going to head out for a while. Borky, how much money did you lose to those damn birds? 25 gildin or something like that. How about 25 gildin each? Eh, that is quite expensive. I could say maybe 30 gildin for the whole job. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Tell that you what, equals, up, you that equals up, up to what? Three, wait, 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 hang 300 on. 300 gold. That would be 300 <laughs> gold. For each of us or for all of us? Uh, for all of you. You can see him visibly sweating. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's haggle, shall we? There oh, are, no. there are Borky, five in Borky our... quickly yells over to the other cart. Guys, Greco's is Greco's is doing business for you. What? <laughs> there, are, there are there are five of us in our company. Don't worry and about well seasoned and well equipped. Fifth, fifth, there's six. Mm. There's six. We found him. Remember? Oh, was there? Okay, hang on. Can I math? I thought there was. There's what? you. There's out of five of you. There's, well, there's you. six and pilchard. There's pilchard. Oh, I'm sorry. There's yeah. Me. Yeah. What did Borky say? He's learning fitness for poo? What? 20, 20 gildan each. Ooh. Uh, four or six? We didn't exactly get a warm welcome when we came into town, and we well, are- fair, everyone are... in the town's lost their homes, Greckles. Borky just gestures <laughs> to the flaming city. Yeah. <laughs> You just see this like orange glow in the distance. Fine, ten gildan each, but not a not a nope. Hold shred on. lower. Do you want better, Vaughn? What is you, what do you do for work? Uh, I, I'm, I'm a doctor. Excellent, excellent. Okay, give us free health care while we're here in room and board. And you got a deal. Oh, topical. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he just looks to Luigi, and Luigi's like, that could be arranged. Good. Actually, Lu. Mm. Borky, Borky, side huddle for me with just a second. Okay. Bonk. <laughs> we shall. I see this as an opportunity, and I, I've seen mm -hmm. you wanting to do this, but to get Orcs a good name. Yeah, he's what we're thinking. What do you What do you suggest? And if we did this for free, and we just proclaimed that it was an Orc that, you know, kind of saved the day, what do you think? You think that would be worth the money? We're not getting paid, squad. Yeah, pretty much. Um, you so know do, what? Do you want to go with it? I want to be honest with you, Greco's. Yeah. How do you say it out loud? It sounds like a great idea. I think I was subtly going for it myself. But tell you what, free health care and free room and board until we have to like get back to to Alavast, and that's Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, sorry, you gotta forgive me here. I'm just realizing No, you're fine. You're no, fine. I just realized it was probably with a bunch of vampires, you know? Like it <laughs> right, just right. blows me down mind. Alright. Alright, alright. So so okay, I got this then. I got this. Thanks. Right. Break. <laughs> Can't all right. Cook was Cook Acula was also one? After after much consideration, we will we will come to this, Luigi. We will do this for free, but you and the rest of the town need to remember that it was an orc that saved you. Forky smiles, two thumbs up. Roll a persuasion check. Oh. Who? Roll high. Roll high. Roll Me? high. Roll high. Oh, I would love to. God damn it! Oh, oh my God. Uh, double one. Okay, Holy okay. Can shit. Bork can Bork can Borky try and save this with that nat one? Well, it would give him advantage, but he rolled two oh, God natural damn one. Damn it! Are you Holy serious? Wow. wow! Wow! Who's conducting business for us? What? Literally, literally, Luigi kind of looks at you and like looks down the ground and goes, "Mamma mia." <laughs> Look, we we can say what we can say, but we cannot promise everything. It's good effort there, Krakos. I'll have to make up for it. We can pay you the gold, though. The ten gold per bird. The ten, the ten uh, gold. Uh, we're in Tracadia. Uh, we can pay you the ten <laughs> uh, Tracadian gildens. Uh, fine. Sounds good. Uh, meanwhile, in the other cart. <laughs> What is the likelihood Greckles. of a double nat one? Man, I hope Greckles isn't doing business for us over here. <laughs> yeah, I hope so either. I think that's uh, 2.5% or something. You see, you or, see, or, or less Borky, than Borky that. Borky holds up his... You just see Borky Holt standing up with two thumbs up at the guys. <laughs> uh, you guys I think it's going back. well. Uh, you watch as the, one, the woman who was like loading up the cannons was like, That was awesome! They exploded and they went to bits. It was so good. And she's just kind of like, like amping herself up. Uh, you, it you, was you, awesome. you see two other humans. Uh, one that is like a ginger, 
both of which are gingers. One is like, like a manly, and the other one looks like the nerd version of the manly one. Um, oh my god, they're you twins. You also see, it's uh, they're they you can tell they're brothers. They're not the same age, but they're they're brothers. Oh my god, one, it's future and present Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, the buffer one looks like he's the older one, and the younger one is like kind of like he looks shove into a locker a bowl. <laughs> Uh, I have a strange urge to put you in a box. <laughs> uh, you also see a, a, a human with darker skin, uh, bald, and has like a really, really nice, like groomed beard. Um, and he is wearing like a different set of armor. It looks like he has actually it has a rank. He's not just a like a soldier. Uh, and then you see the captain who is currently like unconscious at the moment. He is mm. not doing so hot. Okay. Well, I uh, I don't wait. Let me see. Do I have like a blanket or something? Uh, I, I I just put like my bedroll over him just to keep okay. him keep him nice and warm. Just put a sleeping bag on top of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and uh, I, I guess Rad is gonna just uh, I don't know, make some small talk with the uh, very excited woman. Uh, task with your soldier background, you can tell that the the man with like the beard, uh, is a lieutenant based off of his his position and the way he kind of holds himself. Uh, Victor, you approach the the the. <laughs> The, the girl, who at this point is like knocking these very weird-looking arrows into her crossbow, is like, I "Can do it in mini form. Let's do it in mini form. Yeah." <laughs> and and uh, Rat Rat just goes up to her and goes, "You know, that was quite impressive. The way you took on those hellhounds. Look, ten-pound cannonballs, giant cannon, back of wagon. Best trick in the book, if you ask me." Hmm. Regulations, smegulations. Strap a cannon to everything will make it instantly better. If only we could get them on horses, that would be great. I, I, I swear to God, I just hear her say, "Let's get this bread." <laughs> rat just rat just sinks sinks into his arms, uh, his own arms. Oh, they should put cannons on everything just for you. Oh, they should. They should. <laughs> Who are you, by the way? Huh? The name's Victor, and uh, he takes off his hat and just does like a little bow. Swan of the moon kite. Uh, th too many, too many things. And your name is? Yeah, she throws at her hand. Courtney. Okay. <laughs> nice. Such well, it's nice to meet you, Courtney, and that was a very impressive display out there. I hope that it... perhaps if we make it through this tonight, I could buy you some drinks. <laughs> Roll a charisma check. Yeah. Hell yeah. That one. Double one. Here we go. Wad, get them double ones. A seven. seven. Yeah. We're not charismatic tonight. Oh, uh, no, we're not. She, like, she's, like, stroking her crossbow. She just stops. Her eyes narrow, and she slowly turns and looks like goes, Are you flirting with me? Rat, uh, looks, <laughs> looks to both sides. No. Roll deception check. Uh. That one, this, please. Oh, Jesus. 16. <laughs> she laughs. She goes, Ah, oh, that's good. I thought I would have had to shoot you. Ah, she kind of strokes the, the arrow. And she kind of, <laughs> like, hooks it to the back as she crosses her arms. Rat begr begrudgingly takes a seat. This Telltale game uh -oh. is wild. <laughs> <laughs> next time, Rat. Next time. Courtney will remember this. Courtney will remember <laughs> this. Uh... And <sighs> and how how are the other guards looking? Uh the youngest who is the ginger guy who looks like a nerd is just like holding onto a spear and just like shifty eyes back and forth, like just kind of standing at attention with like the other civilians. Uh his older brother is currently just checking on the other civilians. Mm. Uh the lieutenant at this point is kind of turning and kind of rolls over to like look at you the rest of you guys, panic and task specifically. And he salutes and he goes, Lieutenant Terry! Uh, Hello. You are their superior. I am I am Task of Oath Iron. Nice Anakin to meet you, Tom. Kobold. I've only ever met gray ones in my life, and he kind of reaches out a hand to you. I take his hand. He gives you a really, like, enthusiastic, but not, like, in an overly friendly way sort of handshake. A strong shake, then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for uh, sure. And he kind of looks up to the two of you, and he kind of narrows his eyes at you, Panic. Do I know you? I don't think so do i know him uh, roll a insight check what 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 he says that task says perhaps 17. the last uh what was perhaps... your father's name again uh sergey kind of wiggles a finger and points he goes 
You were Sergey's kid, weren't you? Hank pauses for a moment and goes, Ugh. Yes. Oh. Don't say it with so much shame. Come on. You've grown into Panic, a fine man. Famous. <laughs> with none of his help. Nah, poor old sod. Shame what happened to him. What happened to him? Yeah, he lost his black strips. Uh, blacksmith shop, I think. He moved. Of course. He's now smithing for the military on the eastern plateaus. East Eastern plateaus is is that is he saying Eastern Chicadia or Eastern Chicadia, yeah. Wait, he's here. He's in Chicadia. He's not in the West. We're in the West. He's in the East. Oh. Don't mind me. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's like a chainsmith or something mm. now. Mm, panic, you don't sound too excited about your father's whereabouts. <laughs> I'm not. I don't give a I don't give a shit what he's doing at the moment. Then why don't we change the subject then? Oh, so yeah. what was the what was the whole situation with the raising of the town? Ah, vampire attack. We should have known it. We'll carry him some precious cargo in the other wagon. It's uh, called an orb of noct. If used by a vampire, it can bring upon permanent dusk. And if more orbs are added to that collection, permanent night, just permanent darkness. Didn't anyone not decide it would be a good idea to destroy it? Yeah. It's kind of gives you this look. Tass looks at him very seriously. You can't just throw this in the garbage disposal. No. No, but you could smash an orb with a hammer. Yeah, you can smash a normal orb with a hammer, not a magical orb formed with the piece of a god of darkness. The ring cannot be destroyed, Gimli, son of Cloy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've, we've tried. We've tried banishing it to other realms. We've tried. You know, smashing with magical anti-magic weapons. So what's all that's left? Well, I'm just gonna take it off of this country. You know, a place with less vampires or none at all. Wouldn't the vampires or, just go there instead? Eh, I'm sure there's gonna be some... things they don't want to deal with. We're planning on sending it off to Ruba. You Ruba? See that? You see a, a lot Ruba of sun there. Ruba. Ruba. This is a land of sands, boy. And he kind of looks down to you, uh, Victor. He goes, it's like a sprawling desert land. There's no caves there for them to hide in. There's no vampires in Ruba, really. Oh, Lots of sun. Mm-hmm. And sun worshippers. Well, we know a couple of people who actually came from there. Yeah. Do you, how much do you think it would be for Azra Zahar's, like, little, like, man leash to actually bring it back to him whenever he decides to go back? Azra Zahu? I was actually saying that to panic. Oh, but, uh, what was that? I was saying the guy who uh, Azra Zahar came with, the merchant, the the guy who was really into rumors and shit. Oh yeah. What what if, what if, for some reason, if we could somehow get this to work in our favor, if we brought this back to Alabas, we could give it to him, and then he goes back home with it. Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't think whoa, they're whoa, just whoa, going whoa. to give it to us. No, yeah, I, yeah. that's not. That's not. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I'm saying like that's an idea we could have in our back pocket. We have a wizard who's supposed to help us out. He's uh, kind of working for us convertly from Barcelet. Let's just meet him at the fort. And then after that, we're going to help kind of load it up into like a lead box so it can't be tracked anymore. And then we'll take it to the coastline of Barcelet and ship it off to Ruba. We have uh, another set of wizards waiting for its arrival. Sounds uh, reasonable to me. Do we, have a do we have the name of the wizard we're supposed to be meeting? I think you guys did get a name. Solomon, yeah. right? Yeah, Solomon. Yes. Solomon. Yeah, Solomon. So, uh, would one of them happen to be Sullivan? Uh, I mean, I don't know personally. Uh, I was just told we're meeting a wizard. It could be. Uh, well, any sort of magic user or at least wizard might actually know the whereabouts of another. I assume they would have some kind of pulse on any other magic users in their own country. So this will be benefit beneficial to us as well. The youngest like soldier guy goes, I don't like wizards. They're weird. And that's what makes him useful. Uh, he just goes back to like leaning on his spear. God, I want to throw you off the fucking cart. <laughs> With a wedgie, He's, no less. He doesn't seem like wimpy. He just looks kind of awkward. Wedgie and yeet him off the cart. <laughs> uh, at this point, you guys hear like a bell in the distance, like uh, the ringing of like a very crude bronze like bell. Hmm. Is that our destination? What's yeah, the, that's uh... the fort. Is it still nighttime? 
It is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you watch now as you guys kind of peek out of the wagons. You see what looks like an encampment surrounded by, like, wood and a lot of torches. Uh, and you see, like, lots of guards. Like, mm. a decent small battalion of guards. Rightfully so. You guys are led inside, and uh, immediately all of the civilians are taken out first. They're kind of first priority. Uh, Luigi collects you all to sign a contract that you're going to work for them. The goal is you guys are going to help be bodyguards for Task. this delivery uh, for the payment of 10 Tricadian Gildens each. I, I just imagine Task and Panic look to each other. Who the fuck decided this? Yeah, who, who signed off on this payment? Wait, dang! Yeah, you, tur you, you turn and you see realistic Crackle's head. Well, no, <laughs> Rat, and Rat just goes, oh, thank goodness, later. employment. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. What what time of night is it? I would assume it's fairly fairly late. I'd say like two like at this point probably like two or three a.m. I, I turn to the captain of the guard and I go, as long as this gets us a proper bed and a roof over our heads, so we can sleep decent for the night. Uh, we do have some cots. That would oh, be sorry. nice. I'm Luigi. Oh, we do have some cots. Yes. Woohoo! Are we have, we have we parked for the night? Or? Damn it. You're too yeah, cheery it, to live here. The the wagons kind of roll in and like the inside is very contained. It's like a like a camp with like, like some tents. Nonsense um, you say th there's about thirty or so just standard guards in this in this location. Borky uh, kind of whistles to get everyone's attention and kind of waves over to a place by the trees. Just kind of there's no trees everybody. inside of this. It's a clearing. Please, no, no, no trees. No, 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 no. Just no. to find them, just an area away from everybody. Okay, okay. It's gonna be All tricky, right. but you can try. Okay. It's a very enclosed space. This is not like an open uh, yard you can just walk, run uh, around in. Borky pretty much just wants to, in, like, I'll, like you know, a huddle. I'll, I'll act it out. Hey, we'll talk about this more, you know, when we get back to Elevast. But, uh, you know that, uh, that thing they're carrying? The, the piece of, uh, knocked. Knocked? Yeah. Uh, like, it's in a case. The thing is, when I traveled over from wherever I was, you know how I told you I was on that pirate ship? And they helped me help them out. Right. They, uh, you were on a pirate ship? I sw yeah. I just found out that Captain Feratu might have been up to more than I was expecting. I think they might have been vampires because I saw a chest that looked just like that in the hold of that ship. No, it, was, it wasn't the exact same chest, Kurt. It was a similar design. Similar it was crazy. Okay, design. sorry. Similar-ish. You're suggesting that there are possibly more of these out there. Yes, and an alibis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, good. Oh, this is good. We know where it is. The more we know, the, the less we have to worry about vampires finding ones we don't know. Yeah. But unfortunately, we also know that mer uh, merchandise travels very fast in Alavas. So fast that some of our items ended up across the ocean in some regard. Mm. Ah, that's less good. <laughs> yeah, I figured I'd tell you that. So, Greckles, Greckles actually look over to Pilchard. Why don't you go get some rest? It's like he's halfway through a bottle, huh? Yep, I do it. <sighs> I think Pilchard. we're all gonna rest, son. Well, don't overdo it. We've got a job now. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so here's a question then, Borky. Why did the pirate smuggle you? I won't think it was my charisma. <laughs> okay. Insight. <laughs> <laughs> Obvious <laughs> lie. Ta Tash just like fucking like looks like he visibly coughs like he's trying to hide a, hide a Six. smile. You know, Six? Borky, that 14. makes perfect sense. Thirteen. Rat, Rat just accepts it. Rat Seven. believes him. Roll deception check, Borky. Roll oh, Borky dude, roll actually high. believes this. Roll high. High. deception check. Well, I, I didn't say, Wait, which check? I'm sorry, everyone was talking about you. Or persuasion. Roll persuasion check. There you go. Please roll high. 12. Yes! 12. <laughs> Task. You have your doubts, but it's Borky, so you're not 100% sure. Just roll my eyes. <laughs> Meanwhile, panic and Greckles. <laughs> oh, Borky, did you talk your way in and trick the captain into letting you on board? I was accidentally loaded on as cargo and woke up a day into the journey. Ah, that's less impressive, but still impressive. Oh. 
That you and me both heard that, right? Oh god, yeah. There's there's <laughs> loud. We've been having potential storms for a while, so if we if if Zito and I disappear, you know why. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Midwest is wild, folks. The oh. Goliath who is in the I'm wagon with uh, Borky and uh, uh, Grekles kind of walks over. He's got the heavy crossbow kind of lolling in his hand to the side. Oh, oh God. That's the sound of his footsteps. Yes. Uh. <laughs> the, like, thunder, like, crackles, but, yeah, there's no storm, but he's just very scary as he stares down <laughs> to you. Hmm. He's about, he's actually shorter. He's about seven foot five, seven foot three ish. How attractive is he? Uh, roll an insight check. <laughs> okay. I'll roll a charisma check for him. All right. Mm. He's not giving up. Rat's not giving up. 17. Uh, sorry, I gotta find my stats here for these guys. Run into all of these, these potential adventurers. I've got to make it out of here with something. <laughs> there Uh, shit. Uh, rolled a nineteen. Um, Ooh. that's a good pretty, pretty manly looking. Um, stern face. I mean, you guys have met Doros. You know what Doros looks like. Um, Rock. I don't really know what to, to compare him to. Um, who's who's? Fuck. I don't know. I have no idea. I can, uh, I can, I can use my imagination. Yeah, use your imagination. He's pretty, he's, yeah, he's pretty handsome. He rolled 19. Yeah. So he's got like he's a, a Vin man. Diesel-esque face. Sure, oh, yeah. yes. He Vin, like Vin Diesel's Diesel. face there has we that go. black, that black marking going across is like, you know, the, 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 that's badass. Like that marking is really badass. All right, a rat's um, going to go up to him and uh, say, that was some impressive work attacking those hellhounds out there. And he puts his hand out very, very nice to, to shake. Um, he kind of <laughs> leans down and gives it a shake and goes, it was my job. Uh, of course, and what a good job you did. Do you want something from me? Does he? He he doesn't look interested. Does he just he? seems confused a little oh, bit. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, shit. The player doesn't know how to flirt, but the character does. I don't know. I flirt with him. Sure. Rap okay. Him. Tries tries to get him to, to maybe maybe have a drink later. All right, roll a roll a charisma check then. Okay. It's handsome man, it could be useful. Fourteen. Okay. Getting a big Goliath on our side could be useful, you know. Uh yeah, we have drinks over by the campfire if you want. Just to watch out. Uh, Courtney likes to throw gunpowder into the fire on occasion, so just hold on to your... Wow, Courtney's a loose bag. Ooh, oh, dodged yeah. a bullet on that one. <laughs> yeah, unlike those, unlike those wolves. <laughs> I mean, hounds. <laughs> it's too soon. No, are you're you, uh, <laughs> Are you an elf? Well, a little bit. And uh, rat, rat bats his eyes. Mm, roll, <laughs> roll a charisma check there. Yeah. Shadow, like flicker. Thirteen. Uh, he kind of blushes a little bit. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Oh, I got this. Well, well, I've got to talk to my allies for a little bit, but I'll see you back inside when we. Yeah. Um. What uh, What kind of paint do you like to drink? Ale. Mm, I like myself a good ale. Okay. <laughs> kind of shuffles awkwardly and walks away. We got ourselves a date, boys. Hell yeah. I go, I go to high five panic. He's going to chalk you like a pool cue. Oh, Jesus Christ. If it's all the same to you, guys, uh, I'd like to get some shut eye. I got something to do at dawn. Oh, I've got something to do at dawn. <laughs> Sorry. Not I'm, very, I'm very happy for you, Rat. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's good uh, to Greckle, get some encouragement every now and Greckles, then. Greckles is actually going to meander over to Pilchard if he's even still remotely in the area. You like yeah, you guys are like kind of break from your Gibby turn around and he's face down in the dirt asleep. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Let's help him up. Come on. <sighs> All right. All right. Come on, you hero. And uh, I, I mean, I, I guess Greckles. Let's. I guess so. We're the only ones there. Yeah. <laughs> come on now. One, two, three. <laughs> you guys like grab his shoulders and kind of like yank them onto yours, and you just walk over to a dry patch of grass and just throw a blanket mm. on top of them. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll if fine. someone if someone can wake me up, uh, uh, 
a little bit before dawn. I'll I'll keep watch. <laughs> there are guards who are already keeping watch. Greckles has a very important prayer to do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to bed, guys. Good night. Yeah, you guys all have like tents you can stay in, as part of your your deal. Cool. Uh, you guys all gain a long rest benefit. Oh, oh my oh. god! I can use magic by again. exhaustion. Yeah. Spell slots by exhaustion. Oh. Spell slots, inspiration. <laughs> It's gonna be. Hold on, I'm just gonna figure out what time you guys wake up to get that full long rest. Ooh, it's gonna be. Ooh, it's boy, 12 o'clock. Get your life together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Is there anything anybody else would like to do before going to bed? Uh, how 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 fun of a date do I have with a Goliath? Um, I'm gonna say roll a performance check and another charisma check. Ooh, I'm good at performance. Yeah. Oh, shit. oh, come on. Oh, dear. No. That one, baby. Uh, uh, 14. Not one and a 14. God damn it. Okay. So this is what happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are telling this raucous story about your grand adventures. Mm-hmm. And literally, as you get to kind of to the halfway point, you tripped on a log near the fire and actually fell into the fire. Oh, God. <laughs> but oh, no. the Goliath gentleman, who you learned, his name is Barunus. That's his Barunus. first name. Barunus Clay Bat Killer. Oh, oh. nice. Bat Killer. People, people call him Clay. That's, his, that's what people call him is Clay. Clay. All right. All right. Uh, as you fall into the fire, he actually like reaches into the flames and pulls you out of it. Oh, my hero. Um, and you realize when you spend time with him, he is not romantic at all. Oh, man. Um, but he seems to very much enjoy your company, and he seems very interested in you, but he does not know how to be romantic. Mm, okay. All right. This is pretty common with Goliaths, though. Yeah. Okay. There's potential. There's potential there. Like, the most you would probably get to is holding hands, and that would be, like, 10, like, a level 1,000 for him. <laughs> That's a bit too much. Dark no uh, I'm sorry. This is a rated R uh, stream now, everybody. Um, yeah, hand-holding. Rated R. Mm. Uh, All right, close, close, cl uh, close companions, then. Close companions. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, leave, leave on good terms. Real per friendly. Pers nice persona, your ally will now die for you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh. Social link, go. Mm -hmm. Uh... I did have something I wanted to do. I wanted to either speak to Luigi or speak to the lieutenant again, uh, Lieutenant Terry, and, like, ask them, like, all right, listen, there's two things I want to know. I want to know all about any other, like, I want to learn more tricks and tips on how to kill these things, how to be effective in battle, and also, for God's sakes, you saw me fight, it would be better if I had some silver arrows. Okay. Roll a persuasion check for the arrows. Okay. First, wait, here we go. Teaching them how not to die. 17. Good. Okay. Uh, you managed to procure five silvered arrows. That's good. I, I will super take that. Which, which for this camp size is a lot. That's fine. I, I, I was like, dude, listen, any help would suffice. Just anything. All right, I'm going to roll in the Arcana checks for these guards. They are city guards, so they don't actually have a lot of experience monster hunting, but they should know some things. Okay, Luigi's very smart, apparently. Perry oh, yeah. is also quite smart. So you're going to get two hints here. So, um, any vampire spawn is commanded by a vampire lord, which indicates that there is a vampire lord leading the charge on this. They know that for certain. Um, now, vampire lords are scary as shit because... They they can fuck stuff up pretty bad. They're the um, Lord of Vampires. Yeah. Um, like a true vampire. These would be true vampires. Um, the other scary thing are the spawn. The spawn will, will listen to the command of the, 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 the true vampire. Um, in terms of weaknesses, uh, I'm going to run a d4 and you're going to learn that effect. They're bad at filing their taxes on time. Oh, yes. God. You know, that's me. You, you know for a fact so, that they... You, you know, know that they... Uh, oh. You know that they are harmed by running water. Oh. So rivers, creeks, any running water hurts them like acid. Okay, cool. The second thing you will know. 
god, he just turns into Kaz with with fucking like with, with quiet, refreshing salt water. Uh, a stake to the heart. The vampire is destroyed if a piercing weapon made of wood is driven into its heart while is incapacitated in its resting place. Well, good thing I actually prepped and got a wooden stake before we came here. Unfortunately, with this information, you know that you'd have to ambush them in a coffin to kill them. In just general combat, your stake is probably not going to do anything. Whatever you do, don't aim for their crotch. <laughs> Simple <laughs> reference if anyone got it. Okay. Yep. I No, I got it. Don't worry. Thank you. So unfortunately, Scarvel's delight delightful stake is probably not going to come into much use. But it saves you trying to do it in combat. Yep. Okay, rad. That's all I wanted. Perfect. Radical. And everybody has a short rest. Long and... or short? Long. Sorry, long rest. My bad. <laughs> oh, oh, I was like, no! Yeah, no, no. What do you mean? You guys, you guys get a full eight hours and about 10 a.m. Uh, you begin to hear movement. When you guys wake up, there was two carts there. Now there's four. Oh, and dear. You s and as you wake up, you currently see um, Captain uh, Captain Healy, who is the guy who was really injured. He is currently covered in a blanket, and his eyes are covered with a cloth. It looks like he didn't make mm. it. He died. Ah, uh, poor bastard. Um, but Rat removes his see, hat and condolences. Uh, you do see Terry, Lieutenant Terry, and you see Captain Luigi, and a... What I can only describe as Bob Ross's hair times ten. Oh my god. And a like long length robe and a scepter with like a crystal ball set in the center of it. Uh this wild, crazy looking like wizard. He like he screams like wizard. Oh, oh my god, he looks like he looks like crow. crackers from Take Tone! Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What 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 color is his hair, Nadine? Uh, it is like it's not orange, but it's like uh, that dirty kind of orange brownish color. You know oh the one God, I'm talking about. Gai Gaijin, Gaijin, mm. Gaijin. It's crackers. It's I crackers. Know. It's I fucking know. crackers. I know. <laughs> Who's crackers? <laughs> crackers, the wizard from Tig Toad. No, son. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys gather your gear, prepare your spells for the day. Who are you? Um. Uh, who these other two carts say? Forky asks to everyone. Yeah, who are the other carts? The other carts look exactly identical to the other carts you guys rid ridden. Besides a few damages here and there. Oh, uh, uh. Connor, you okay? I had a nasty spill. Connor rolled uh -oh. over in bed and landed on the ground. <laughs> oh. Oof! Um... <laughs> Not not to take too much time on money, but Greckles uh, for the morning prayer would definitely be asking for advice and, and and such for when it comes to pilchard. Okay. From uh, Orin and. Yeah. You place a sunblade face down. Roll roll a wisdom save for me. Oh. Uh, oh, save save. Okay. Yeah. That is a six. Wow. Pilchard walks over and kicks the sword under your hands. You like collapse to your to the ground. Mm. And you fall chest front and he goes, what are you doing? <sighs> Listen, Pilchard, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you need to do with your life. But <sighs> because of Sully and because of some other events that happened, I found a good path. And whether you believe it, it's good or not is up to you. But I know my way and it's made me a better person. And did you choose your way? Yes. Are you being to told to go this way? I chose this way, Pilchard. And it's done well, nothing but given me great things. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Okay, he takes a drink. He has a mug. You don't even know where he got the mug <laughs> from. <He's laughs> <walking. laughs> Pilchard, you have, Pilchard, you have an opportunity to redeem yourself. And you're just going to drink it away? You don't know me, kid. And you don't know me. Yeah, but, but I know someone who's pointing a sword face down, and I know what they can become. Oh, and I know ex exactly what Runkard can become. I'm not here to judge Pilcher, but it sure seems like you are. Why don't you take least, a step back? At least my problem won't lead to hurting people too much. I'll just hurt myself. You really aren't very knowledgeable then, are you? What knowledge am I lacking, kid? 
the ability to do something helpful and useful for others, to be more than just self-pitying and wallowing. Trust me, I've spent a lifetime doing that. Sometimes people don't want our help. And what about the ones that do? Will you just then shut we them help out? Them. We help them. Then put the pitcher down and do the job, Pilchard. I don't want your help. So awkward then, over there, Panic. <sighs> what? <laughs> I don't know what in the hell happened in that lake. But I thought something had changed in you. I thought you were going to help us. I thought you were going to help Sully. You I'm can... doing what's best for me. I'm not doing anyone any favors. And I don't need to. Neither does anyone else here. You do you. I'm gonna do me. If you have a problem, I'll just stay in Tracadia. You're the one that came and kicked over my sword, Pilchard. Yeah, you're you the do one have a me problem. pointing it downwards. That's a sunblade, you fuckhead. Do you even know what that is? One of the sacred hairs of Orin himself? I know what this is. They're a dime a dozen. They make them in bulk at the capital, the great temple in Periton. There's 50 or 70 of them. They're gifts. They give them to high commanders. I'm not going to ask you to understand, but it's something symbolic of my change. The rarity and price of something is only as much as one believes it to be. It's a stick, kid. It's a stick that has a little light attached to it. People are more valuable than that. Well, it's that little light that's helping me save people. Yeah, sure. And once you rely on it and it's taken away from you, then what'll you be? Hmm? You're I will still... You. I will still be me, and I will still defend the people that I love. But Orin won't. Orin never will. Only you can. And if it comes to that, then I will. You're being awfully judgmental for a guy who just wants to do you and let others do others. You don't even know the start of it. You don't even fucking know. Then why don't you give us the opportunity to? That information's not for you. That information is gonna be for Solly if she wants it. Then fine. But instead of coming over here and kicking dirt in everyone's eye and getting drunk, just stay focused. We got a job the sword to do. Sword points upwards in the prayer. Hands aloft, both hands pointing upwards towards the sky, not pointing downwards. That's disrespectful. Shoulders back, head up. Greckles will actually let him do this. And tuck your feet in. Your butt does not touch your feet. Your feet and their butt do not touch. From the Gre knee to your waist, you are straight up. Greckles is internally smiling so hard right now. It fucking hurts for the first few times, but you get used to it. And I'm going to give you this one advice. Mm -hmm. This is not about what you do for Orin or what Orin does to you. You are stealing from that thing, and he points up to the sun. You're stealing from that fucking eyeball in the sky. Do you understand? I suppose so. We're all thieves. Every single worshiper of Orin is a thief. Insight on that real quick. Go ahead. That is a 15. He is not lying. Oh, wow. damn. Oh, no. Oh, no. All the paladins are secretly warlocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Dude. Wait a minute. They're bad. So we got maybe. A, so we got to kill all of them to get the light back to Orin. Wait, that's illegal. They're, they're all thieves. The sun's alive. We need Tigtone guys. No sun. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I want to do something, but I'll wait till this is over. Okay. I'll bear that in mind then, as I continue to figure things out. Remember, you're not worshiping a god. You're worshiping an animal that has godlike power. Don't be fooled. 
he just, just backs the rest of the coffee. Oh, gnomish coffee. Good. Just chucks the, the mug, which is like a wooden mug, and just like walks over to the cart. Hmm. He still knows. Been really theft. Just Greckles is muttering to himself at this point. You guys do whatever. Oi, Greckles, that looked like it went really well. Seems like you came to an understanding. <laughs> <laughs> Rat, how did you get on the roof? Oh, oh, on the roof? Oh, shit. Never mind. Where were they? Red what cars. a crazy night last night. They're just we outside. Just... Yeah. yeah, I thought this they were just, just outside. This is just a series of tents, right? Rath, how did you yeah. get outside? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, early bird gets the awkward talk with the with the Goliath, you know. How, how are you doing? I'm going to have a lot of questions when we get back, but it's worth figuring things out. Porky, uh, Porky's just kind of looking at the awkwardness. He's really dexterous with his hands clasped together like that. He yes. really is. Pilcher's mm. hands are still. I'm guessing he's. They're still on the. Oh, chair. he's been. He's been pop. They popped them off. Oh, they the, have been. Uh, okay. Wagon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I was gonna yeah. make myself known to the wizard. I want to get some info. Yeah, I, I, oh, I'm not. Gonna, oh, I'm, not gonna, gonna, I'm not gonna. He, I'm not gonna lie. The moment he turns and looks at you, like his eyes are like huge, like wide eyed. <laughs> And he goes, oh, <laughs> would that be a red chromatic cobalt of the, oh, what splendor type? Probably underwalk typo, uh, but your claws are a little bit, bit more for digging. Squirmy body type, very lithe form. I would put you at about 20 or so years old. You are allergic to peanuts, and your mother's name was Edith. What the fuck is a peanut, and what is an Edith? I may be correct, because you don't know the answer to those things. Oh, Solomon, you're truly a genius. Solomon? Ta You're Tash Solomon? So you are Solomon then? I am Solomon, the greatest wizard in Tricadia, the only wizard in Tricadia, that I know of. And, and you are? We're, uh, we're meant am... to find you. Oh. Yes, well, here I, I am. Ha! He kind of waves his hands. <laughs> Tash, I like... do, don't have time to right now for a meeting. I am quite in the middle of things, you know, flirting vampire attacks and all sorts of well, if you magical you vampire people's... attacks, just what you do. Uh, well, I'm helping out the guard at the moment for a bit of gold. I, just, I was yes. going to say, if you if you do that, the last the, the last time you did it for, oh, I need a redo. <laughs> <laughs> Never done it before. I'm doing it now. I just moved here. It's been great. People don't really like the wizardy types, so <laughs> kind of give us a side glance. I mean, probably has something to do with the hair, but this conditioner is just grand. What? I, I was going to ask, does that happen naturally, or is that an effect of your magic? This is the thing. <laughs> You take, okay, you listen very carefully here. Yes. Honey from a giant beehive. Got it. Clay from the mystical lakes of the mermaids. Okay. And then a little bit, and just pay attention closely here, a little bit of oil. Just a little bit. Where the hell am I oil. supposed to get the oil from? God damn it. I know, I know it's blasphemy and it's expensive. Anyway, you just lather that in every once in a while. Don't do it too often. And you get beautiful locks like these. And he kind of like puffs up his hair. Yeah. Oh, he could just be born perfect like me. Hair flip. <laughs> Your hair is scattered across the place. It looks pretty bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the prestidigitation, all the oil out of my hair. And the, and he... It like flats, it splats to the ground. Yeah, there but you this go. This is uh, out of game. This is the guy to send you guys back, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it, it is. is. Well, yeah. Wait, yes. So, uh, forgive me for saying, though, you was. We actually were told to meet up with you once we achieved our goal after coming here from Adavast. By the way, Borky the Orky, nice to meet you. Oh, ah, ah, he kind of takes your hands like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, really, really fast. How tall is he? Oh, he's like average height. He's like maybe like five foot eight. Okay. The hair puts him at a solid five foot, like six foot something. Good. But he's very average. He looks like maybe like 70s, 80s. So like we... human. When we first landed, uh, we were supposed to find you after we achieved our goal, but we were told you were gone for two <gasps> weeks. Where, What's that? This week, Merrick's had contacted me. He said, oh, oh, Solomon, I have a mission for you that's very important. Some friends of mine need you to teleportation circle. I'm like, well, that's great. I have some things I need to do, but I, I'm sure I'll be there on time. He gave me the wrong time. I guarantee you, those dragonborns are so scatterbrained. But um, you're here now, which is good. Um, probably not on the uh, sort of theme that you would like to meet me at, but I'm glad that you see that you are alive. And he kind of turns and looks at like Victor, who's been like bitten and like all kinds of like pecked at. Mm -hmm. Like all you guys look pretty haggard. It's not worse for wear. Borky holds up his hand. 
Yeah. The crickets continue. Okay. Does, does anyone want to? Borky holds up his hand. Ooh. Yes, Borky. Why does Tracadia suck? <laughs> well, you see, a long time ago, Tracadia was ruled by a by a vampire lord. It is settled in the history. First, the werewolves lived upon these lands. Soon, very soon, the humans came and settled here. And after that point, villages began to crop up. But the werewolves didn't like that at all, I'd say. They were like, ruff, 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 you know, as they are with wolves and all that. Didn't like that any single bit. They went in, they raised the place, and they got more werewolves by turning the people into werewolves. And oh, God, it was terrible. But... Then came along this vampire lord. Uh, what was his name? I can't remember off the top of my head. I had to double check my books. Anyway, he was a real nasty. Brought in a bunch of other vampires and made Rat a sort takes of a secret, seat. secret vampire club. Anyway, he got killed a long time ago by some Avon paladin. And now all the other vampires are like, I want to be in charge. No, me. And his daughter, the daughter of the lord, has no interest in this sort of thing. I mean, if she took power, then I'm sure there would be order, but there would still be vampires. But here we are now with a whole bunch, I think like 10 or 12 or 13, 14, who knows how many vampires now Rat fighting for power. begins to nod off. <laughs> anyway, as I said, we are currently dealing with the transportation of an orb of Noct. That is an orb that is going to basically descend the place into eternal darkness. One orb is quite bad. One orb is quite terrible. Now, this many orbs, and he lifts up a, uh, a chest, slams it on the ground, and opens it. And you see Whoa. four orbs oh. sitting in this, like, long chest. They're about the size of, like, a grapefruit. And they're, like, clear, and they're, like, pitch black, like obsidian black. Oh, no, there's so many. <laughs> you would think so. These are actually fakes. Can you tell which of the ones is the real one? Uh, can we? Investigation can, check. Can we try? Sure, investigation check. Yeah. Or actually, Arcana. This would be an Arcana check. Arcana. Mm. I am trained in that. Nah, no shit. Twelve. Wow! <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. <clears throat> Borky rubbing his chin. Where's my Arcana? Where's my negative one? Near the top. Was the uh, stuff 15. I was doing with Pilcher taking place yeah, you're, while you're, this is going he's on? He's explaining the history of vampires, so at this point you're like walking in midway through a lecture and you now see these four orbs sitting in a chest. Oh my god, why do we have four of these things? Oh, Here's the we... best part about it. All of these are all fakes, except for this one. He points to one of them and he goes, <laughs> that's the real one. That's the bad one. The rest why don't of you these put, Why'd are... you put them all in the same box? It's so easy to steal the box. Why don't you put them in four separate boxes and send them to four different places? Ah, uh, ah, uh, he points to the four wagons. That's the idea. Now you're going to take the real one to Barcelette, while the other wagons are going to go to each and every different di uh, direction. Wait, now, wait, wait. So you're going to give... Practically complete strangers, the real orb of Noct. I mean, to be fair, we are under contract panic. It's true. Yeah, but that's stupid. We could we could be vampires and have signed the contract. Shh, don't tell them that. <laughs> I mean, we're not, but no, no, no. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Rat was almost a werewolf. Well, well that's different. Al almost, almost. Wait, I'm I'm okay now. I'm fixed. I got my shot. Oh yes, we know. Well, we checked you. Well, okay. if this is done, they did. Me. What? what? With our spangle graph, my spangle graph. It's the most. Advanced form of of arcane knowledge made by Illumine clerics back in the first era. Anime clerics? Did I hear that right? Illumine. <laughs> Listen, I played Fallout New Vegas. I know what happens to the real <laughs> one. The hell is Fallout New Vegas? Never mind. <laughs> I've I've played Fallout. Never mind. He he pulls out this like this. It looks like a set of eyewear, but it's like. It's like a mangle. It looks like he's wearing basically pull out a clothes like a, a a clothes wire that's been bent around randomly, and it's like two sizes too big for him. Um, and it's got like these giant like weirdly crudely made lenses. They don't even look like glasses. They just look like a mangled piece of metal with glass just in it. He goes, yes, a spingle graph. Ah, of course. It looks by wearing these, I can see the true form of an individual. Hmm. Oh, look at me. What do I look like? <laughs> you look like an orc, but there's also a weird, giant, shadowy, ghostly-looking tall man behind you. Oh, that's an ancient undead king. Wink. Oh. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> but I can tell he's of no real, well, danger. He's a ghost. What can he do? <laughs> you say Rat that, but I have his... to talk to him. Uh, Rat waves I... his hand around behind Borky, just, like, checking. It's like <laughs> <laughs> You literally, like... You start kind of waving. You feel some cold air behind Borky, actually. Ooh. 
Oh, that's interesting. Just, that's Mr. Default. So his friends call him Ron. <laughs> yeah, Ron Fault. <laughs> the rest of you all look just just fine. Would it not be what? Yes. Yes. No one wants to interrupt each other. I, I've been kind of cut off this entire time, so I'm just like, are you, are you sure I got a chance? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's looking down at you. All right. So, would it not be wise to let us have that, considering that we're going to be the ones with the real chest? Oh, no, no, no. This is for me. This is a very important piece of technical work I need to hold on to. Right, but you're going to... If you're going to go off, are you are you coming with us, or are you going to go off in the separate one? Oh no, I'm teleporting back to my tower. That's smart. Can you not bring us with you? No, just me. Oh, what? Damn it! Oh, they uh they can't be teleported, can they? Yeah, the, uh, the orbs. I think we were told oh, no. they can't be teleported. No, no, no. These are these are very. How do I describe this magic? It is very uncontrolled magic. It is not human magic, elf magic, dwarf magic, any of the common spells that you can use out of your hands. He kind of noodles his hands around. This is vampire magic. Very, very powerful, demonic magic. Don't really want to take that between the realms, if you ask me. That could be catastrophic at best. Hmm. Well, Understandable. Our mission was to have you take us back the moment we have our prize, and I look over at Pilchard, and I'm like, and there he is. So, I, I, are, are you not honor bound to at least get us home then? No, I owe Americs a favor. If you meet me back in my tower, I will take you home at once. I have the particular components to teleport this to Alabast, or you to Alabast, all of you. Um, I do have a contract for one, two, three, four, four of you, uh, which will, I have the components for doing that, yes. Only for four of us, but we got to send someone back with us. I'll have to double check. There may be five. Okay. There should be five. That was part of the contract. Mm, I four, show him. Four. I show him the contract. Four out Which five. One? Half, but it's still a contract. He takes it. He picks it. He goes. Oh, that's not going to do. And he casts mending on it. And immediately, it reforms. He goes. Oh, <laughs> right there. It says right there. Five. My bad. I am. I have to apologize for this. I might have to go and get a bit more equine wax. Yes. Five I'm sorry, above game, did you just say horse wax? Yeah, horse wax. Okay. Mm -mm, gross. Mm, I need 1,000 gallons of... of the finest horse wax. <laughs> gathered, <laughs> gathered from the ears of many horses. <laughs> <laughs> gathered from the glue of many horses. Oh, that's oh, even no. worse. Like <laughs> you must find glue from every horse breed hey, ever. Hey, my... My time being here is almost up, and I'm going to be teleported back to my tower. I will see you then. Bring this contract. Knock on my door five times. Okay. Five times. Okay. Five times you knock on my door, and I'll let you in. Okay. And he disappears. Mm. That man is crazy, right? <laughs> Rat, Rat pulls out, a, uh, out of his pack a copy of Stephenson the Spectacular, a story about fantastical wizard. You know, I wasn't expecting wizards to be so fidgety. And he looks at a picture that's like way cooler looking. Yeah, he's wizard. like a buff wizard. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. No buff sure. Wizard. Yeah. Wizards, <laughs> wizards are all nerds. Just, They're all it, nerds. It just looks like oh. Chris Hemsworth with a with a wand. That's all it looks like. That's yeah. <laughs> a little bit disappointing. And it's it says on the it says on the wand I cast fist. <laughs> <laughs> Alright all right. then. One there's, last job. There's so many yeah. One license. The all the guards you guys travel with all meet up, and you see a bunch of different soldiers. So going with you because you seem to have gravitated towards them the most oh. is going to be Captain Luigi, oh, Courtney. Okay, gravitates and, a strong word. Uh, and then and Bart Clay and, and Clay, yeah, Clay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, you guys, and like, there's equal amounts of people getting into each and every other wagon, too. And you guys get a small chest with the real Orb of Noct put into it. This is crazy. So you guys, 100%, I'm not saying, I'm not gonna say this to mess you guys up, but you guys 100% have the real one. There's no, like, um, you've been told which one's I'd, the real one, and you hey, have hey, it. Hey, Monty, I'd, uh -huh. I'd like to actually ask them for permission. 
I'd like to etch a small word in the uh, on the side of the chest that only I would see. So if we lose the chest, I can tell it the difference. Okay. Uh, even though he's like, oh, Mamma Mia, that's such a good idea. Like, just kind of excited about that. <laughs> Where are you from exactly, Miss Luigi? Oh, I'm from Tracadia. What oh, part now? The South Tracadia? I am from uh, Northern Tracadia. Uh, Luigi, Oh, I question. seriously doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would happen if someone was to touch this? The orb of Noct? Yes. It would turn to immediately to dusk. Mm. Just from touching it. Don't touch yep. it. Mm. Alrighty, I'm scribing... I mean, that's what the wizard told us. I mean, it could be just the vampire touches it, it turns to night, but I do not want to try when we're trying to get it out of here, and we don't want it to be night time. That's mm. fair. I'm going to scribe uh, on, on the bottom, like, near, near the front, on the bottom of the chest, I'm going to write Seek in Draconic, or knife it into it. Seek for Draconic? Okay. Yep. Good. All right. They lock up the chest and they put it in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the wagon, and you guys gather your things, your materials, your supplies, and set out forward. During the trip, can I cast Glyph of Warding on the box? Yes, you may. If you want to click. All that right. One. Yeah. What? So I'm gonna cast a explosive rune on it that, um, and I can I can pick like who triggers it too. So I make sure. Everybody, you know, all our allies will not trigger this glyph. Okay. But um, it will be triggered if anybody of, like, vampiric or uh, werewolf-ish nature comes by it. And it all will right. do an explosive rune. Uh, I'm just going to ask real fast, Greckles, what is the radius of the send blade again? I don't have that it on is, It's uh, 60 feet at max, and I think minimum it's, like, 10. Okay. Good to know. All right, so you're gonna put an explosive rune. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say uh, it'll cast. Uh, let's what damage say. Type? Yeah. Um. How about fire? Wait, no. Ah. Uh, uh, thunder. Thunder's a nice damage. We've been doing thunder lots of damage? thunder. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Um. Um. No, I'm thinking. Um. If okay, since we're all since we're all doing this. Um. Greckles looks over to Luigi. Do you mind if I put an identification marking on it to make it a little more discreet? Well, let's adjust to keep with the one inscription there. All right. We don't want to give it too much away. Above game, I was thinking about putting a uh, illusionary script on that so everyone could read it. Uh, ex any any ally could read it except, but no, that's fine. Okay. Oh, God. Second, sorry. Very no, fine. Just getting your guys' fellow yeah. people's stats and information. Here. And I'm writing down. I'm writing down the the trigger for the uh the thing. So, uh, if e one. So I was just thinking, actually, that task. Yeah. My, you you think they would have more guards and be more prepared if they're carrying around this orb thing? Felt like the town was unprepared. I don't know, like. Oh, completely overrun. Like, what happened exactly? Did you know the, the orb was coming? Uh, we were uh, ambushed. You were ambushed, attack. you would be. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess. By vampire, everyone. Vampire attacks are very coordinated, Borky. Oh, evidently. We are not talking about things like trolls or ogres. Mm. Here's the thing. Are the wolves and the vampires working together? No, the vampires and werewolves hate each other. No, but you, it's weird, though, if you think about it, right? Because the birds, those bird things, like the murderers, I call them. <laughs> yeah, they, they attacked us, then the werewolves attacked us. So if the werewolves attacked the birds, you think that was possible? Were they just waiting for the birds to be done, then they move in? Because mm. what's crazy is, like, the wolves chased us up to the woods, but they didn't come into the area. Even though there was all those, all the people in the town running away, they could have gotten in there and got a couple bites in. You know what I mean? And it didn't. Mm. It seemed to avoid the vampires. And you think, you'd think if they hated the vampires, they'd pick off them just from the edges, right? Mm. That didn't happen. That's so, true. so I just, well, want, just I just, you know, here because the second I heard about vampires and werewolves, I was expecting to have all these giant ass fights, right? Hell, 
we were, come on, like, the one we bumped into, right? I kind of changed up everything. I That's think that true. was just a coincidence. I think the sound of us fighting alerted the werewolves. Yeah, it's just a lot of coincidences. We happen to run to town right as it's being invaded, right but as this thing's being taken. It's just... But... Mm. Oki makes a very good point. If the vampires and werewolves did somehow join forces to work together, it would make getting these orbs a lot easier. Now, if you think about but it... There was... oh. There's less competition. Well, what would the werewolves gain from it? Dude, eternal it... night! Eternal night benefits both parties. Exactly, man. And what happens when they start competing for food? Well, then they fight each other then, but it's like one more or less the... the one, in... one less party to worry about. They get rid of all the regular people. Luigi, quick question. Have, have you... This is gonna sound strange, but have you ever heard of any neutral or even benevolent vampires in these areas? Uh, there are a few. The only one immediately I can think of is the Lady Beatrix. Hmm. I don't think she would attack. This sounds. I mean, do you think she would really attack a city for an orb? No, but I. I wonder if she would even care about what's transcri transcribing right now. Oh, sorry, I can't talk. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, transcribing. Do you remember that they were afraid of the 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 where the werewolves the, 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 the werewolves were afraid of her image? Right. Yeah. So I'm just that... wondering if she would give a shit about what's going on though, or if she's just staying as neutral as possible. Perhaps the... she does seem like she's trying to alleviate her reputation around this town. That well, her, well what was left of it, right? Well, what's a little left too of soon, it? Borky. Well, I mean the one we was just at, I think. Uh, uh you guys travel, and a storm has picked up as you guys have begun to move. Oh, money. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, money. Yeah. Oh, money. <laughs> You're having too much fun. Don't, don't. It's the sound of the storm, by the way, guys. Ugh. No, it's bad enough that there's light, thunder and there's lightning. There's one right outside. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I don't really have to turn this on for you guys. You yeah. guys are experiencing no, it. No for, for ambient, Zito, can you just crank up your mic? <laughs> storm there so immersive, it's right outside your window. Mm. As you said, that thunder just clapped. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's ass cheeks struck together, so it makes sense. <laughs> Wait, now, now, I'm st now I'm starting to wonder if, if this storm is, like, magically manufactured or not. Well, I don't trust anything, not even nature, well, in this fucking place. I mean, how, roll a nature check, then. How, how often do All you right. get magical, like, how often do you think you get magical, like, storms we just, in Texas? We, that's a nat 20! Natural 20. Hey. This place, it rains a lot in this place, so a storm is not out of the ordinary, really. Okay. It's just unfortunate. <laughs> the, the fucking sky turns into crows. <laughs> yeah. Just With a giant life. crow. Like just it's raining crows giants. out there. Just Literally. <sighs> just a giant crow head comes out of the house. <laughs> you, do, you do see something flying in the air, though. What's up? Oh, no. Roll a perception check. Oh. Da, 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 That's a 22. 22 uh -oh. again. It is a bird, and it is flying towards you. What kind of bird can it be identified? Uh, it's black. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and it's flying towards the wagon, and it lands. Guys, there's a. On, I think on, there's a whoa, wagon. Whoa! Hey, how big is it? Like, like on the edge of it. It's the size of a crow, but it's not real. It's like a little like clockwork crow. Oh, I oh. hate it immediately. <laughs> oh, it's not one of those. It's not one of the homunculi crows that we fought earlier, right? Uh, no, no, it's not. It's uh, like, it's like, it's like, it's like what Log kind of looks like. It's like a little construct crow. Oh, you're, you're a cute little manufactured thing, aren't you? And, uh, Rat just kind of fingers, points towards the crow. All right. A little bit. You, you touch it. I'm assuming you touch it? Yeah, yeah. It's beak kind of, like, slacks open, and you see there's, like, a little, like, you know, with a toy, when you, like, twist the back of a toy? Uh-huh. Uh, it begins to, like, untwine. And almost like a record player, you hear a voice begin to play out. Oh. Okay. Mm. Greetings. Ah. I am Count Zion. Oh. I am sending these crows out to all you pathetic mortals' little wagons. I'm offering you an ultimatum. Surrender the orb upon me, and I will not rip you to shreds. I currently have one of the biggest werewolf packs under my command. Oh shit. Orphan and that right. would usually hide in the woods and stand a bit peckish at the moment. 
You have your choice. Surrender, and I will let you go. Continue on this path, and I will either kill you or turn you into my thralls. The choice is yours. And the beak snaps open, and it just kind of stops moving. Rat just uh, kind of flicks it off of the wagon. Uh, I pocket it. I, I, oh, oh I... yeah, yeah. All right. You know, I'm not gonna be. Go- I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna guys. put it. In, I'm gonna put it in the portable hole. I don't. Man, okay. I don't like being right. I just don't like it. It just hurts. Oh, it hurts. Ah. Oh. Do we really want to keep that thing panic? It might be tracking us. Well, it's in a. Uh, it's in a pocket dimension right now, so I don't think they're tracking it anymore. Mm. Well, that's not really a choice that he's given us, isn't it? No, he's tra- I think he's. I think. Oh my fucking god! Ah! Shut up! What oh, time of the day is shit. it? Here we go again. It doesn't matter. It's raining. Oh. There's no sun. Hey, can these horses yeah, but... go faster? Uh, they have a kind of a stop. You watch as like Luigi's like smacking the reins a bit, and the horses have kind of like they've kind of all frozen up now. Oh, I need everybody to roll initiative. For me. Oh, oh God! I need Tracadia. Here we go. Here we go. Nineteen. Money, money. You've essentially worst continent ever. Eighteen. 20, Dude, soft it's 20. Almost, it's almost like it's inspired by a really hard setting or something. No, <gasps> it's, no it's fair, it's fair. Wait a minute. <laughs> like, Wait a minute, you, you played a fraud campaign. Bad. Wait a minute. Uh, Luigi, I'm not saying it's not fun, it is but him. Jesus. Lord you know, this is why I never leave Barcelet. No, that's not it, I don't want that one. Oh, that was jamming. Song. No, you know what you need? You need you need Smithy's theme from Mario RPG for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh my god. I'll pull, yeah, Mario, I can, don't I can pull it up. It, <laughs> but please, please don't get it backwards. Like I, I, I don't. I, as much no, as I keep saying, no, I hate this country. No, it's frustrating. It's a frustrating place. Yeah. yeah. Like, how does anyone thrive here? Yeah, how, uh, how, never leave town. Uh, stay so by the border. The ground. Did yeah. we just show up right when everyone was being attacked? This blows. Evil. Listen, this is this is an abnormal. This is a special event. We don't oh. usually have a bunch of orbs like this, you know. Uh, all right. So are we are we all inside the cart? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. it's it's kind of like a partially covered wagon. So it's got like it doesn't have like a roof on it, but it has like side slots, like uh, like uh, kind mm-hmm. of like um quote unquote cover for the sake of flavor. So we can peer over it at least. Real yeah. quick, uh, uh, real quick, Monty, please uh, describe what we're seeing though here. Now that the horses have stopped, uh, you immediately see five werewolves burst out of the woods. Uh, they have appeared right. to have caught their scent. Yeah, above you, below you, around you, you're surrounded at the moment. The horses have completely frozen up uh, by the presence of this. I just really quickly have to just double check something here, stat wise. Is, is Piltrid with us, by the way? He is, yes. Yeah, he's one of the NPCs. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'll have to actually copy and note him as your special NPC. Yeah. I had to make do with the wagon I have because, like, I would I would have to buy another wagon. Was Was he top. given some sort of weapon? He's got a longsword now. Okay. Good, yeah, good. he's got an actual weapon now. Alrighty. This should be fun. Then I'm gonna assume I got my dagger back from him. Yes, you have your dagger back from him. Cool. Uh, all right, initiative. We have Borky with 20. Yeah, we go. And then we have Task. Um. Victor. Mm-hmm. And then we have... Where's no Greckles? Greckles is, is a six, so we're at the... He's at the bottom. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, wow. That's unfortunate. Not really. It's not that He's bad. at the bottom. You're at the bottom of the pyramid, dude. I'm going to roll for allies as a group roll. Uh, that's going to be putting them in, in, all, in all honesty, Taka, it would actually be better like if you went before Freckles. That way you could we could set up the sandwich. Uh, Borky, what's your dexterity modifier? Ooh, plus one. Tie. I will let you go first. Yay! Oh, shit. All right. Here we go again. Borky, you're up. You immediately see werewolves descending down. All right, yeah. Borky immediately goes into a frenzied rage and charges at the first one he sees. Borky charges to the one in the from the, the right of the cart. Actually, All right. I'll go on this angle here, actually. There, better. Okay. Borky charges right at him, just roars a challenge out, and Borky swings Ron Fault. 
That is a 12. 12, that just hits. Borky swings down, and that's 12 slashing damage. 12 slashing damage, not bad, not bad, not bad. Come on, you bad dog! Borky swings again. 22. 22, that will hit. And that is 11 slashing damage. 11, perfect. You lay into this thing, swinging left and right. Yeah, come on! Borky looks just like he's ready to fight. Okay, that brings us to the werewolf's turn. <laughs> uh, this one immediately is going to leap into the wagon, just runs and just dives into the wagon and grabs the chest. Oh, shit. Uh, and it is going to grab the chest, uh, and it is going to open it. Oh, if it opens it, my, my ward, uh, Your ward's triggers. Gonna pop. Oh, yeah. shit. But we're all in it. 4D6. Oh, fuck, that's right. Don't shit, activate I it. I forgot. Don't activate it. All right, yeah, I'll dismiss it. That's my bad. I, ah, damn it. Yeah, I could dismiss it as a free action. Damn it. Oh. Yeah, it rips it open and it grabs the orb in its hand. Wow. That was fast. Doesn't it take like a bunch of attacks of opportunity? If it runs away, it yes. Uh, okay. It leaves with the orb, yes. This thing is yeah. like quad sandwiched though. God, yeah, it, it just, it's running in. It's making the risk. Um, fucking Captain This Luigi. is one of the ones from the left, right? This is Get one it. of the ones on the left. Uh, another werewolf immediately goes and bombards Captain Luigi. No. Mamma mia. I can't. Mamma mia. Here, Here go he goes again. again. Oh. My, my. Something Italian. Something, something pizza yeah, mama pie. Mia, let, let it go. Let it go. Oh. Let the chest go. Ooh, that's let it go. Gonna hit. That's a 23 to hit Luigi. I gotta grab. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I have to grab my dice here. Give me two seconds here. I'm sorry, I should be way, way more prepared for this. Mama mia, uh, no let worries. the chest go. All right. Oh, right. This one doesn't have this. I'm thinking of my birds. I'm like, I'm gonna need more d6s. I'm like, wait a second. These are just the werewolves. Just oh, the, the birds. Werewolves. Let uh, it go. That's a Mama Luigi to you, Mario. <laughs> It would have been great if my post-it note tabs didn't rip out of the pages and I lost a bunch of things I had tapped out. Uh, Luigi is going to take seven points of damage as he is bitten into. <laughs> uh, and you just see his jugular burst with blood and oh. make a Ooh. constitution saving throw. Can't believe we're going to have to put Luigi down. <laughs> oh, no. Fails. Oh. Oh. Pull, it, pull it the trigger. <laughs> Uh, Mario, I don't feel so good. Be a my engine. <laughs> this other werewolf is going to attempt to attack you. Actually, no, the other one gets another claw attack. That's right, they have two attacks. One second. Pasta la vista, Luigi. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oof. That actually, wait. Nope, that misses. Okay. The claw comes out, and it, he, Luigi just ducks under, and it hits his helmet, striking across. The feather kind of gets slashed off of his helmet. No! But he's looking really awful, actually. These guys aren't like Alabastian guards. These guys aren't as strong. Um, this werewolf is going to jump and pounce at you, Task. Uh, oh, pff, the, I'm assuming a 12 misses. It misses. Yeah, the bite, the fangs come down to bite you, and you just bring up your bow, and you it breaks on the on the on the bow. For flavor, you can say ghoul, and then it becomes ice, and the wolf kind of spits it out. Yep. Uh, but it comes back with a claw. Uh, that is going to be a 22 to hit you with the claws. Uh, yeah. Alright. All right. So that's going to be seven points of slashing damage to you. Okay. And uh, that will end its turn. Uh... Yeah, it's going to go for the weaker person. Uh, this werewolf is going to completely ignore Borky and is going to go for Courtney. Uh oh. And she is unarmored, so that will hit her. And that's going to be. Oh, fuck, she's down. What? Oh, shit. Max no. damage. She is no. unconscious at the moment. My uh, buff cannon lady friend. She wasn't that buff. 
Uh, but she does oh, resist no. the, the right. disease. Oh, fuck her then. <laughs> oh, never mind then. Just, wow, guys, wow. <laughs> you see the guys are going down like fucking... Monty, you follow, <laughs> you follow Connor on Twitter. You know what he's about. I know, I know. Uh, the werewolf in front of you, Borky, is going to attempt to bite you as well. Yeah, come on. Damn. Down uh, in one hit, going though. To get 21 to hit you? Yes. Okay. Yes. That is going to be uh, eight points of piercing damage, cut in half, so four. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. All righty. Jesus. Yeah. That's an eight. You begin to feel very unwell. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, no. Extremely unwell. Ah, my head hurts. Mm. All right, let's you keep begin, fighting. No, don't worry about you it. Begin, you begin to drool a little bit off the side of your mouth. More so than when I'm normally raging? <laughs> yeah. Shit. Uh, that ends their turn. Task, it is now your turn. All right, well, fuck this dickhead who's trying to get the box. I'm gonna just lunge on him. Hunter's mark. Okay. I'm gonna give him an icon for having the box. Uh, I'll just give him a. Uh... I'm 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 taking I'm taking slashes at this guy to effectively just go for getting his fucking arms, get him to drop shit. Okay. That'll end. Uh, ooh, nice. Twenty-five. All right. Well. This is eight, and it's silvered, by the way. Yeah, eight silvered. Perfect. Uh, eight silvered. Now let me do Hunter's Mark. Another four, and then slash again. Four. Good. Seventeen. That'll hit. All right, this, Hunter's Mark, and Colossus Slayer. Nice. That's going to be seven plus two is going to be nine. And five. So that's going to be 14 points. Not bad. That's gonna bring him down to you that disarm amount. Are you disarming them? You swing at him and he brings up his claw and like takes the brunt of your strikes with his other arm. He's very closely clutching that orb. He is on a mission. And my books are falling off of my table because I'm so excited. <laughs> um, does that end your turn task? That's all I got. All right, that brings us to you, Victor. All right, I'm going to cast Hold Person at fourth level, which means I get two additional targets. And okay. I'm going to target mm -hmm. the uh, the north uh, west group of uh, werewolves. So they are technically, it's weird. They are technically humanoid, so this does work. Cool. Oh, okay, rad. Dope. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, and uh, Rat just goes, all right, good movement, and stop those feet. <laughs> so all that's right. a, uh, what is that? Wisdom DC 14. Fuck, the one that's holding the orb rolled an 18. Ooh, that's not so good. He, he just turns and kind of <laughs> scowls at you. And then this was the other one you were aiming for, the one on Luigi? Yeah, and then the one uh, above task as well. Uh, what, what level did you cast this? I ca It's original is uh, level two. I cast it at level four. Okay, so two more creatures. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the one next to Luigi. Uh, that is an 11. So that one is currently yep. seizes up. Uh, and then the other one you targeted? Uh, above task. That one there. Uh, that is me a natural 20. Ah, uh, all right. But well. you got one of them. Yeah, I did get one. Okay. And uh, with my bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word uh, at uh, just at first level, just to stabilize, yeah, Lassie. To stabilize her? All right. Yeah. She comes cool. back up. She has four hit points. Okay. Come on. We still need your cannons. And uh, that, that'll end my turn. Okay. Uh, that brings us around to the allies' turn. Yay! Uh, Luigi is not looking great. No. Uh, he is going to pull out his sword, and he's going to try his damnedest. It is a, it is a silvered weapon. Uh, he's going to swing. Actually, it's held, so it's like a... What, what position does that put them in? That puts them into paralyzed. Mm-hmm. So they get hit with advantage oh, yeah. then? It was either like advantage or auto crit? It's auto crit or advantage? Uh, paralyzed. A paralyzed creature is considered incapacitated. They can't move or speak. They automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and any attack that hits the creature is a critical attack. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow, that's everything. Auto crit with advantage. Mm. Wow. 
wow, wow, wow. Mm. Oh, yum. So? That's gonna give it to you. That what? was what it is, but that one hits. And that's an auto crit, eh? Yeah. Okay. Sick. It's gonna be 15 points of damage from Luigi. Go, <laughs> Luigi. Oh, yeah. Have a taste of this, fucker. Uh, <laughs> Clay is going to attempt to grapple the werewolf that has the orb. He gets plus two because he's sandwiched, yeah? Uh, that's just to hit, not for skill checks. So he's okay. using athletics against the werewolf. Alrighty. But he is a Goliath, so he's pretty buff. Pretty buff. It's a 16 for him, and that's the werewolf's turn, plus two. Fuck! Natural 20 for fucking werewolf. Right. Wow, Clay, that was... Clay, Clay goes to grab him, and... I just wanted him to have a moment. Clay goes <laughs> to grab him, and the werewolf, like, slashes him across the face, like, nicks him, no. and he kind of, like, Ugh! grabs his face, and he has his crossbow in his hand. Uh, that, unfortunately, is his turn. That was uh, a real frustration. <laughs> werewolf is MVP, dude. Yeah, dude. Fucking A. Um, uh, Courtney pulls out what looks like a flask. Uh-oh. <laughs> and she has this great big giant smile on her face. Oh, God. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. Uh, she is going to... Oh, unfortunately, that one's not paralyzed either. It's going to aim it for the one that Borky's fighting. Quick dexterity check. Ooh, it's not the greatest... But she's throwing it at the ground, I guess. That's gonna be four. Six. Uh, Borky, I need to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Oh boy. Oh, no. oh boy. Oh, Borky. And the werewolf is gonna have to make one also. That is going to be a 10 for the werewolf, so it fails. 14! And you succeed. DC was 13. Ah! <laughs> Uh, the werewolf takes 12 points of fire damage as she, like, pops the cork and throws a flask and yells, Get down! And she, like, gets down and it explodes into fire, singeing the oh werewolf next to you. She just she's... threw a Molotov cocktail. Basically, she's like... yes. Oh my she's, God. Like, she's like the western bad guy that's strapped with TNT. <laughs> uh, that is... Oh, Pilchard. Uh, Pilchard's gonna turn over to the werewolf directly in front of her and is gonna swing down with the longsword. Uh, that is gonna hit. Let's see, seven points there to werewolf number. It's gonna bring him down to. Okay, and then he's gonna do multi attack because he's a paladin. Uh, damn, yeah, that'll also hit. Good job, Pilcher. When he's not manacled, he's actually useful. Uh, there we go. Molotov, throwing a Molotov. <laughs> Didn't say it. Molotov here. Phil's here. Uh, that ends, that ends their turn. Panic, it is now your turn. I okay. hate you, I, <laughs> I, Panic cracks his knuckles and starts uh, strumming on his guitar, playing Bark at the Moon. Uh, Bark at the Moon. And I'm going to cast Bane at third level. Okay. That's going to hit all five of them. They all need to make charisma saving throws. All right, we'll go through one through five here. Uh, Chris Werewolf got a 15. That is my AC. So that means it, it passes. Damn. Um, so Werewolf number one is five. Werewolf number two, 19. So it passes as well. Shit. Werewolf number three, that's a four. So nope. the one holding, uh, wait, three is this one here. That one has Bane on it. Werewolf number four, which is one that has the orb. Uh, that is a 12. <laughs> it had to fail sometime. Nice. Baned. Oh, Baned. That's me. Baned. All right, and then werewolf number five. Uh, that is a thirteen. Nope, fails as well. Fails as well. All right, they're all baned except for two of them. All right, and now here comes the combo. I'm going to activate mantle of devilry. Okay. And I'm going to say commands drop on the one that has the orb. Okay. That's another wisdom saving throw. Eh? Another. Oh, it's a wisdom saving throw with bane. With Bane. Okay, got that D4. Good combo, good combo. So that's a 17. Minus 4, so that's... 13. Oh 13. It just, yeah, it fails! Yeah! Fuck, yeah. It just, Ooh. clink, 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 it rolls around. It's now rolling around the the actual, like, deck of this of this wagon now. Pumped in, yeah. Okay. 
completely drops it. Drop it. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Drop bam, it. Bam, now, bam, now, bam, 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 bam. Now, now say, now say, good boy, and stretch it behind the ear. With a knife. Yeah, it, no. dro it dropped it. It did, like a good boy. Oh, you did the trick. Alrighty. Uh, it is now. Is that in your turn? Yes, panic? it is. Good combo. Greckles, it is now your turn. Greckles kind of shrugs. Maybe they're all still stupid. Uh, he brings his fingers together, uh, whispering Genjutsu, and um, creates another form of Beatrix coming in from the southwestern parts of the wood. All right. So going that way. So Beatrice comes walking out of the wood, and uh, the werewolves all kind of turn and look, but then they slowly lull over to you, and they go, kind of give you this, like, this grin. Like, they know more than you think. They're oh. not so easily fooled twice. Oh, no, they put, oh, all of them put glasses on at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the second burst isn't the same as the first. Uh, it's different! There's all right, as, well, as it... you look, you realize these are the werewolves that were chasing you the other night. Ah, and... damn it! Uh, hello yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. Howdy, folks. Time for some sweet revenge. Uh, Greckles will draw the uh, Scary Acid Dagger of Stab and Beatrix's pretty blade, and that Sunblade is staying holstered at the moment. All right, you pull the, the, the Dagger of Venom. Yeah. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. Borky cracks his knuckles. Alrighty. Had about an update here with these goddamn werewolves. Borky first hit. And that is a 16. That'll that'll hit. And that Ooh. is 16 slashing Shh. damage. Oh, that's so you much slash fear. and cleave through the werewolf. Frick, I just kick it. I kick kick it away. I turn to the one attacking everybody. Furthermore, Forky walks down. <laughs> I had an update here <laughs> with the freaking perpetual darkness. Forky swings. Eleven. That misses, unfortunately. And I hate missing with my sword. And that third hit. Tw soft twenty. Twenty. That that'll hit. And twelve slashing damage. Jesus. Twelve slashing damage. Nice. Wait, do I get flanking for that? No, you didn't move into the right space, so... It's just one spot further down. Alas, if you did, I thought because he was there, didn't. but that's okay. Wait, oh, wait, yeah, that, would be, that would be flanking. Oh, yeah, oh, so, yeah hey, you do hit. My bad. Yeah, Pilchard's there. My bad. All right, so I get that. Yeah. So I get... Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Yay, another hit. Yay, another 12. Another 12 points of damage. So, ah, so their AC that. is 13, then. Mm. Their AC was 12. Ah, oh, whatever. Yeah, it's cool. All right. It is now the werewolf's turn. Oh, the one in front of you, Borky... Howls. Oh, God. Oh, I need to make a wisdom saving throw, and so does Luigi. Oh, no. Oh, piss. Oh, no. Oh, no, and Borky. Oh. Bork wolf. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 16. Oh, that's oh. good. You, you sweat. You manage to resist, but poor <clears throat> Luigi. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, oh we're shit. Gonna to, we're going to have to put him down. All right. You know, is, is, is Luigi in plate? I'm curious. Yeah, yeah. Poor the trigger. <laughs> He's in like oh, simple armor. Me. Oh no! Be a man. Just loading, just loading the spaghetti into the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Crying. <laughs> this is so good. The you watch as, meatball. You watch as Luigi's form shifts and twists, and you see a werewolf, and as it turns its head, it has a mustache. <laughs> Mamma mia! No werewolf. Was the princess to save the Mario? Yes, brother. Pasta la vista, she Luigi. Saved. Cocks the gun. She was a saved, brother. That's the episode title, by the way. Pasta la vista. Pasta la vista. Pasta We're not vista. calling it pasta la vista. <laughs> yes, we are. We obviously are. Uh, Someone said tricadavania. Tricadavania. But at the da. So that is that werewolf's turn. Uh, number five went. Uh, number two is going to attack you, Task, again. Oh, boy. Uh, that is going to be a soft 20 to hit you. Yeah, that hits. A bite attack. That's going to be eight points of piercing damage. I need to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. Give me something nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, my fucking god! Your eyes kind of twitch and you start to feel really weird. 
just gonna note this down for references sake fuck's sake well guys we're gonna change the name of this campaign from unexpectables falls I, uh, right. you cut out there in the this middle of that. This is fucking frustrating. Never mind, it's a dumb joke. Oh, dude, it's uh, Spider-Man. This werewolf who dropped the orb is gonna try to use an investigation check to find it, as it's been bouncing across people's feet. With Bane. With Bane. This <laughs> gonna suck. It's glasses yeah. broke. That's a one with the Bane. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> he, actually un he actually unfinds it so, so hard, he puts it in Panic's hand. <laughs> Just slam dunks it right in the portable hole. <laughs> That would be a natural 20, or a natural 1, sorry. Uh, he is going to use his other attack, though. He's going to slash at you with his claw. Oh, no. Don't do that. Uh, but... Soft 20. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, that's going to be five points of slashing damage across your chest. Oh, ow! Oh, ow! You shouldn't have done that, Hellish Rebuke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, no. Oh. Uh, Whatever oh, will I... <laughs> Roll that hellish rebuke. It's gonna be uh, 21 fire damage. He needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, he got a 12. Ban uh, nope, nope. He takes nope. all the damage. Oh, he's on fire. He is bald now. That's a hot dog. It's a very <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> well done, sir. And a really, really high pitch. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna put this here. Uh, this werewolf is held person, so it gets a save at the end of its turn, correct? Mm-hmm. Wisdom saving throw? Okay. Yep, yep. Isn't he baned? Uh, and bane, yeah. No, he's, no, he's, Wait, he's not no, baned. No, he passed, he passed. It doesn't oh, matter. He got a 12, so... Okay, yeah, no, he's still He's, he's, still, he's held. still frozen in place. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, that brings us back to you, Task. I'm fucking pissed. Ten misses. You swing and then you lurch because you feel off. Something's wrong. And then that memory comes back to you of that kobold in that cage. How its eyes were glaring open. How its teeth were gnashing together. You swing again in defiance. Ten piercing damage. And I believe this one did take damage. He so, did. Yeah. Oh, yep. Colossus Slayer. And Colossus Slayer. Wait a minute, which one are you swinging at? The guy, the guy who dropped the orb. Ah, okay. Oh, you're swinging at the one who's, who dropped the orb? Yeah. All right, you do, you cleave off its head. Wee. Wee. I move in the space where the orb is. Okay, you will take an attack of opportunity. Uh, he gets disadvantage, break the horde. That's right, that's right, break the horde. Wee. Wee. Hey. Two, and then that's gonna be not, like, that's gonna be a 12. Yeah, he yeah, misses. 12. Yeah, misses. He swings and misses. Strikes across one of the horses. But. Uh, that brings us to Victor. It is now your turn. All right. Uh, am I able to like move about? I feel feel kind of congested. You can in here. you can move through allies. Yes. Okay. All right. Excuse me. Pardon uh, me. All right. <laughs> yeah. Ex excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Now, let's see if you can do some tricks and dancing. And so I'm going to. Use uh, oh. defensive flourish. Real quick, uh, just for people on the podcast so they know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I move uh, up towards the, the top of the uh, front of the cart where Task once was, and I'm going to use defensive flourish to add to my AC and also attack. Okay. So let me roll a... And also, I'm going to attack this were werewolf at the top. Okay. Ta That'll hit. Yeah. Absolutely. Hoppa. Stab. And here's a D8 extra damage added to my AC. Wow, that didn't help at all. But, Eight. But I'm a little bit tankier. And then I'm going to take another swing. Okay. What's up? Down. Down, oh, fighter. That's what I wanted. That's what I Yeah. There we go, buddy. Roll it up. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. 18 points of damage. Very nice. Down, Fido. Sit. One second. I got to calculate all this. Oh, yeah, shit, you good. you cut its ear off and jab hey. it in the eye with both swings. Yeah, and I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use healing word on uh, Borky at at, at uh, oh, second level. Uh, ab ab above game, I'm fine. I... Oh well, well Too you bad. still get eight anyway. Eight. I'll yeah, 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 I, 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 oh, I have a compulsion to heal. Damn it! Appreciate it. Appreciate it. 
Yeah. I want to keep everyone topped off, just in case. Just in case. Who knows? And that's my turn. All right. It is now your ally's turn. But first, it's going to be Luigi's turn. No! Uh. Luigi's going to go for the sudden moving elven form and lash out towards you, Victor. No, Luigi, why? Uh, that is a two. That's not going to hit you. Mm-hmm. Uh, he goes to bite at you, and he bites like kind of the brim of your your kind of your 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 shirt, and kind of rips it a bit. He Oi. swings down with a claw. Uh, that's a three. Luigi is a bad werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> As he swings at you, you see spaghetti pour out of his pockets. No, he's so <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> um. and he's trying to pull it, put it, put it back into his pockets. So awkward. Is everyone just stop fighting for a second? Just uncomfortably? Yeah, hit? everyone yeah. stops and watches he puts the spaghetti He's back. just crying, putting it back. <laughs> oh. uh, it's his first day. Clay oh. looks at Luigi and kind of shakes him and goes, sorry, Captain. Uh, and he is going to bring out a long sword that he has, and he's going to attempt to attack Luigi. At this point, he's not wearing armor because he's kind of grown out of it. All right. Mm. Oof. Uh, Bust it that out. is going to be a 13, so that will hit him. No, Bard, he's my captain. I'll do it. Uh, yeah, he <laughs> knocks him out. He Bonk. just swings down and knocks uh, Luigi out, and he turns back into a human, face down, unconscious on the ground. Okay. He's Yay. naked? I was about to say, he's he naked. Is, <laughs> he's naked, yes. Oh. So we're, oh. see, we're, so we're, seeing, we're, seeing, is... we're seeing that nice Luigi butt. How, how bad is his hammer ass? <laughs> uh, he has a tattoo on his butt. What is it oh, on? Oh, my God. <laughs> What is, what is it? it? Uh, it's it's of a, uh, a a piece of like it's like of a clove of garlic with like a intricate design. Oh my god! Appears <laughs> to be a family a crest. Oh, oh my god! All right. <laughs> <laughs> Quick panic, bardic knowledge. <laughs> my that, god. that doesn't exist in five E. I know. I'm just being stupid. My god! Uh, it's beautiful. Courtney is going to uh, she's going to disengage, actually. Uh, she wants to get into range. She's just gonna. Where would she go? Yeah, she'll disengage over here. She's gonna disengage and get into a better position. And you watch as with her bonus action, she knocks one of those funny looking arrows into uh -oh. her crossbow. Mm -hmm. And she's kind of like. <laughs> like, kind of pulling it back. Uh, that ends your ally's turn. Oh, except for Pilchard. Pilchard's turn. With flanking. Yeah, buddy. Pilchard swings out at the werewolf. Uh, damn, Pilchard. That's a 19. Nice. Oh, monster. Uh, that's going to be... Uh, oof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lays into this werewolf really quickly. He goes for a second attack. Oh, not as good. No, that's not going to hit. That's an 11. He misses. He swings with the other one, and the werewolf, like, bites down on the sword and is kind of struggling with them at that point. Uh, his weapon is silver, too, because he's been hunting werewolves for a while. Mm. Uh, that brings us to Greckles. It is now your turn. I can't enter, um, Pilchard's space and attack, correct? No, you cannot. Okay, just want to make sure. In that case, we're going to hop, skip, and jump right behind, uh, the werewolf to the north in order to flank, uh, in a sandwich with Rat. And, oh, yeah. uh... Let's give the, uh, haven't used in a while. Let's give that scary ass dagger stab a go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's nice. 22. 22, that yeah. hits. So That's so 10 I'm... points and then sneak attack? Yep. Uh, Here we six. go. There we go. Plus another 12. Oh, yeah, dead. You come up, you take both blade. you take your blade and you just rip it around the front throat. And, Victor, you are just sprayed in a torrent of blood. Mm. And with that, uh, I will move back to my original position. All right. Ooh. And then it's turn. Mm. Nice footwork, Crackles. They don't come with a blue burf for nothing. Borky, it is now your turn. Borky, see, seeing uh, Pilcher just lay into this werewolf, is, is, is filled with great determination. So Borky starts chopping away like it's a tree and it's a cold day in winter. Forky swings with that sword. 17. 17 will hit. And that is 16 points of slashing damage. God, you nice. slash, cleave from head to toe, slash right through the body. Hell yeah. yeah. Borky nods. Oh my god, this actually fits. So, okay, can I flavor how Borky's going to get over there? Sure. Borky, after slaying it, j walks right through the middle of it. <laughs> Just punches him on the shoulder, Piltsford. 
jumps over Greckles onto the outside and runs right along the left side of the cart into the last werewolf. <laughs> or he swings with his two attacks. Wait, is that one still paralyzed? It is. It most yeah. certainly so that's, is. That's an auto crit. And that is an auto crit. Oh, auto crit. Auto oh, crit from God. an orc barbarian. I got another attack after this. All right, let me hit that damage. Nine plus two, what do I roll? So roll another 2d6. <laughs> 2d6. Jesus. 2d6. Seven. Hey. And then roll another 2d6 for your brutal critical. Another seven! Oh. That's gonna be uh fourteen plus nine that's gonna be twenty-three 20. points of damage plus and two is twenty-five. Attack. Twenty-five points of damage. Damn. One second, let me do math. Let me do math real fast. Oh god. Twenty-five is gonna bring it down. Whole two. person's brutal, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whole oh, person's yeah. nasty. It's, this is probably one of those weird ruling sorts of things, because they're 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 technically humanoid, but they're considered beasts also. It's kinda weird. Uh, but I'm gonna allow it because we're right hybrids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, all right, it is still up. You slash across its chest, and Borky pulls the blade up as high as it will go to slash straight down through its middle. Last okay. hit, and that is a natural <laughs> one. Oh. But, oh. but it has advantage. Oh, advantage! It's, oh. it's, it's paralyzed. Ooh. Yeah. 18. Oh, and that's an auto crit still. That's an auto crit as Thank well, yeah. God in heaven. That is 10 plus ten. 2d6. The power of the bard, ladies and gentlemen. 20, oh. 22, and then another 2d6. Plus 7. Yeah. 29. Po no. nine. You eviscerate this thing. It is pace by the time you're done laying into it. Ah! <laughs> you guys kind of, kind of pant. Hey. Hey. Oh, well, that was pretty easy, actually. We Don't say that! <laughs> the horses are still frozen in fear. Animal handling. I'm fucking sick of this shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm they also... Kick, uh... They kick and buckle as you see humanoid forms beginning to exit from the woods, bearing sharp fangs and humanoid... Fuck them, I'm shooting. I'm no, done. What, what? I'm sick of this. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Jeez. <laughs> Zito. I know. I'm... Um... You watch as humanoid forms exit out of the woods bearing regal clothing, fine cravats, and wicked white fangs. And that is where we're going to end the session. No! Yeah, I, knew, no! I knew it. 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 Oh, knew man. It would be that easy. Dude. Oh, dude. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Oh, man. See you guys next time now on that's Edibles. A... I don't oh, want to wait a week. That was fucking oh, easy. Jesus. <laughs> no, don't fucking. <laughs> That's clearly not the fight. We... <laughs> At least Morky's. Still... Honestly, I don't. I don't think we're in that bad a shape. No, yeah, we're not. Actually, actually, what episode? Getting through those werewolves was several... actually pretty impressive. Yeah, several of us aren't even hit. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, but now they're vampires, and vampires yeah. fuck everyone up. Whoa. Yeah, they're 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 pretty pretty messed up. Wow, there's yeah. so many so many bits were being dropped during this, and forget Luke a lot with five thousand bits right out the gate. To have a subtitle idea, what a terrible night not to have a curse. <laughs> <laughs> I like Pasta La Vista. That was yeah. funny. Pasta La Vista mm -hmm. okay. is good. The fur flies. There's a lot of vampire. There's a lot of there's a lot of name ideas tonight. Fucking hashtag, hashtag Tricadia, not the best. Yeah. Uh, wow, that was so much fun. Ah. Yeah. I don't want to wait another week. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm. <laughs> I'm. In you turn that no, no, you turn that harpsichord off right now. No. It's no. Tricadia music. Uh, Damn it! Damn you, America, Romania. <laughs> America mania. I'm incredibly intrigued by Pilcher, though. Coming He's... after you, brother. Yeah. Uh, that's the title from the tall, Tracadia Vania. But there's so many amazing freaking, I'm gonna go through the bits here at the end, but first we gotta go through everybody. Oh. Hey, Zito, where can they find you? You're gonna be playing some of those indie games, aren't you? Yep. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito. Pathway's got an update, so I'll be checking that out. And going forward, I honestly have no idea. There'll probably be art. There'll probably be writing for 
D and D player options. Just stick around for that. Awesome, dude. Hey, Joe, mm. the birthday boy. <laughs> Where can they find you? I, uh, they can find me uh, at youtube.com slash joecat, uh, twitch.tv slash joecat. I'll be going back to the regular uh, weekly Saturday stream schedule. Uh, Twitter at joecat, uh, my portfolio, joecat.net, and uh, hijack on YouTube. Awesome. Yeah. Goomba, where can they find you, dude? Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash gaijin goomba, but check me out on YouTube because this weekend I'm debuting my brand new show and it's going to be 20 minutes long. Kill me. No. <laughs> but it's going to be but that, it's gonna be really good. Is that what it's called? Kill me? No, it's actually called Yokai Watchers because I am a weeb. Oh. No, kill me is my show. Take a hey, shot. Uh, actually, don't take a shot. I was going to say take a shot every time somebody take thinks you're shot. talking about the video game. Yeah, that's I I think that's gonna be problematic, so I may have to change the title, but I mean eh. Oh well. Oh man. It's a clever uh, name though. Clever name. But Connor, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at Senile Snake. They can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where next week we'll be doing some more RIW Roll Initiative Wrestling, my D and D themed WWE two K nineteen wrestling show. We'll have a pay per view on Thursday, not really a pay-per-view. You can watch it for free. Uh, Friday, Friday Funhouse, or just fuck around with uh, some random games with my friends. Saturday, Witcher 3. Sunday, Divinity 2. Awesome, dude. Monty, where can they find you? You can find me at MontyGlue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash MontyGlue on Twitch. There will not be a stream tomorrow as I'm going to be traveling, um, but I will be back for Sunday. We're going to be doing more Divinity 2 Original Sin with Connor, uh, Koo Eater, and Midnight Kai. So if you guys uh, want to check that out, I highly recommend it. It's oodles of fun, and it's 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 an adventure, that's for sure. Oh, my goodness. He's not here, but also check out twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. He's been streaming a lot of fun stuff with a lot of people. Boo! As well. Boo! Hey, I got to yeah, shout him out. And you can find me. He's been doing a lot of helpful stuff for the 2K community. So Boo! Yeah. He has been. Uh, you can find me here as well. Hi, guys. I'm talking. Find me here. MNW's tomorrow. Boy, Probonaga is the money in the bank holder. I, Albatross, is the number one contender. Wow, both these people really don't like Bosco, who holds the title. And don't forget, <laughs> the Inquisition is continuing their onslaught. We'll find out what happens next. But seriously, uh, a lot of people I want to thank tonight. Holy crap, a lot of bit drops. I hope I can get to all of them here. Luke a lot with a 5,000 bits, though, dude. Seriously. Giant thank you. Star Trek 17 with a 500 bits. Love you all. Thank you so much, dude. Stash, the Goblet of Unmaking. Thank you so much for the bits. Burnout Vaughn with 100 bits. Thank you. Best Worst Vacation for episode title. <laughs> <laughs> vacation? We never relaxed when we got here. Oh, probate. You ain't wrong. Uh, 300 bits from Alucard True V. Love you guys. Ugh. Love you guys. Kill the weak vampires. I shall be the one true as I am Alucard. Nah, damn it. They got the name, so that's accurate. Uh, Glaceries with a thousand bits. I blame Luigi. Mario would never have let this happen. XD. Mm -hmm. Woo -ha -ha! Uh, Glaceries. Luigi. Thank you for the thousand bits. What Shadowy Sphinx with a so, hundred bits. Luigi, no! The reason why his name was Luigi is because I rolled random names and that was the name I got uh, and I, I was like, yeah, yeah. wow. That's amazing. Wow. I'm, well, like, just... I'm like, I'm just gonna roll with this. Like, this will be good. I'm like, humans. Oh boy, how exciting. So defective <laughs> cheap with 9,000 bits. No message, just bleeding purple hearts. Yo, defective sheep. Thank you so much for the 9,000 bits. By See? the way, if you do purple hearts, get a little bit extra. It's true. Yeah, yeah. People, have extra. Extra. People have been incredibly kind with that. Wendigogo, thank you so much for the sub. Defective sheep, thank you again for the 9,000 bits. Studio fan, thank you for the 20 month resub. Axel Magnus with a thousand bits, a generic comment that makes everyone laugh and happy. Have a good night slash day. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Axel Magnus! I hope you're okay. Thank you for the thousand bits. Uh, Lucalot dropping 10,000 bits. I did not expect the Pilchard Greckles confrontation, but holy crap, was it good! That was intense. Mm. That was it. Lucalot with a 10,000 bits. That's a good. That was an appetizer for the battle to come. Mm, the battle of wills! Ah! Look, thank you for the 10,000 bits. <laughs> Seriously, man. Giant thank you to you, dude. Viridian Winter, Ashen Bones, thank you so much for the subs. Uh, Cypher04, 
Nguyen one one nine one one. Oh my god. Shout out to Sphinx. <laughs> and then we're all caught up here. Bro Bank gonna squeeze Twitch for all their Twitch for all their worth right now. Probonaga with another 1,000 bits. Jesus Christ, Probonaga. Probate, thank you so much, dude. And to round off this stream, a big, massive thank you to Probate for everything he's done and a happy birthday to mm. Probate. Happy birthday, man. Happy, happy birthday, Probate. Happy birthday. You were born. <laughs> you were born. Episode title, Tricadia so, sucks. So I want to point, I want to point, I want to point something out really quick. So on this day, May first, I was married. Probate was born, and SpongeBob was debuted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. a lot of things. Damn. A lot of things. Burr. Burr. Very special day. Connor. Goddamn Connor. <laughs> I want to thank you all for swinging by here, and I think we should definitely take this, these good vibes, and send them someone's way. Let's check to see who's streaming right now here on Twitch. Mm -hmm. You should you read. You should right? read. Uh, Shinigami Eater. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. All cool. right, I like him. I like him. Shinigami Eater is good. No one tell him. Yeah, I mean, so so don't tell him. Viewers. Don't tell nobody. Shinigami Eater. Shin Within these ten God. seconds. Oh, he's smashing. All right, Raz Decker. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, like. All right, everybody. Everyone be cool. Everyone be cool. Thank you all so much for all the subs, all the bits tonight. Seriously, a giant thank you again to those at the beginning. Thanks, so thank you to Vince Moksanji for sniping that uh, that bit boss, Blackfoot Ferret, for doing it as well. But now we're ending it, however, on the lovely defective sheep. Thank you all so much. Lots of love. Giant thank you. And we will see you next time. Bye bye. Can we give them, can we give them a raid message? Ooh, I can't. Well, that's not, not too, late. too late now. <laughs> Immediately somebody goes, Tricadia is stuck. Mm -hmm. oh, Holy <laughs> fucking <laughs> shit! Oh, what the oh fuck? my Holy god, Taka, that is oh. the biggest raid I've ever gotten. Holy oh. shit on my dick. <laughs> Hello, Taka. The chat is fucked. <laughs> I was talking to you Holy earlier shit. today. How oh are you? my god. Ugh. My god, I oh, saw that the exact geez. second it happened. That's... Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, this well, is a really I'm... fun session. Oh, I'm so giddy. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. Was, what a cliffhanger, I... Nadine. That was great. Yeah, I was like, you guys, wow, this is so easy. And I'm just like, but it wasn't I'm like, why? easy. I'm like, I'm like, why are I you cursing us, As guys? soon as you started asking about the Raiders of the Sunblade, I, I was like, she's going to send vampires. God damn it. Well, of course. What if they can't get close to us? All they can do is send sharp barbs of criticism our way. <laughs> all they have to, all they have to do is cast a singular spell, and I die. <laughs> I don't think do vampires no, have make bird spell it's... casting. They do. Yeah, they do. It's just a Vamp bird. Vampire spawn also have spell casting too. They what? Oh, no. Wait, vampires yeah. spawn. So like, if they have like minions and stuff. Vampire spawn and and true vampires, yeah, have spells. Uh, true vampires. Vampire spell. spawn. Vampire spawn. Vampire spawns can, it's kind of like a variant type, so if it's originally mm -hmm. was a spellcaster, it would have spells, but. Right. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I love, love Pete Right. Oh, son of Pete. What a good lad. Yeah. Also, Monty, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I'm around for a little bit longer than, than I expected. Like, this, yeah. is, this is a full-blown thing going on. Everyone's like, so you're just going to join the Unexpectables now, right? And I'm like, I no. see you like it. But, yeah, it's it, this has been really we, loads of fun. It's weird to call mm. them guest stars. I almost, I, it doesn't even feel like a, you're guesting. It feels like you're just part of an arc for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I kind of really like how that's been. Like, it was the way with Nick's character. It was the way with Bosco, obviously, and as well now yeah. with uh, Joe's character. I really like that you've done that, Nadine. And it allows mm -hmm. for... Man, if they ever come back, too. If, if like, if, say, we were to bring Joe I have an back... idea. What? I have ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be hard, but I have ideas. Okay, that's all, all, that's all you gotta say. Don't ruin the... Don't spoil the surprise. When you brought no, back... Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously, they're all coming back for the final battle. Oh, my God. You jo <laughs> uh, we, we joke, Joe. What we, I always say it's, it's gotta be like the like the Advent Children movie when all the main, all the side characters came back to fight Bohemut. Oh. Uh. 
Can't do God, that. God, the best, the only good scene in the, the only, movie. No, the Cloud Sephiroth <laughs> oh, fight is fun. Oh, actually, no. Cloud Sephiroth fight is good, and the Tifa, whoever that guy's name was, yes. fight well, as well. Yes, Tifa versus that... Laws was fun, mostly because at the end, of the, end of the fight, it played the victory battle theme on the phone. That was good. Good. Yeah, I'm, that uh, was good. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a Final Fantasy guy, so I've never seen it. So I just I just heard it's like just just watch the, just 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 watch the fights. Yeah, just, just watch yeah, the, just fights. Watch the okay. fights. Yeah, once they start having plot, just like just like just, just <laughs> fast forward it to the fights. Yeah. Also, watch the rude Re the rude Reno fight is also better than it has any right to be. Okay. I will say this: um, it is fun to watch Advent Children and like like narrate it like <laughs> with friends. Narrate it yourself. Because that was that's how I watched it with friends. Is that's uh, what we did? Is we just like... narrated over it. It's like that Sonic fucking the Sonic. Oh, the Sonic dub. real time dub. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Is that where that one thing came yeah. from? Yes. I've got a okay. piss on the moon. <laughs> the the Sonic. Sonic the Sonic 06 one though. You see Sonic. the gamer pad. <laughs> Sonic, you burned my wife and fucked my crops. <laughs> Sonic, I am literally four, but how do you fuck crops? <laughs> Omega, our counting sand. Uh, you, you, one, have, you, have a, two. you have amazing timing because no. my pain, my painkiller just stopped. Shadow, it's gonna take him so long. Three <laughs> mil, three trillion. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take him fucking forever, Shadow. And then they get the Maleficent, uh, Maleficent, or whatever the fuck his name is again. Uh. Start counting at him. <laughs> one, two, Shadow. <laughs> Shadow, no. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's fucking God. genius. I love that. I gotta that. watch that. I, just, I love too. the one where, like, the whoever is dubbing is never actually seen the cutscenes from Sonic Adventure. <laughs> like, the, the pyramid oh. rocket comes out, and he's just like, I'm sorry, I've never seen this fucking game again. What is this? <laughs> he's just losing it. He's just, like, laughing and crying. He's like, what is happening? <laughs> Oh man, I want to do that with my friends. Just, like, oh, just, just get a game. Just do that. Oh, oh man. man. What now I'm thinking of games that actually could work with that. I'm just like immediately I just went, uh what's that game called? The Suffering? Where the oh. dude's in the fucking <laughs> prison where the dude gets arrested and uh, he's put into prison and then everything just like becomes a horror film. Oh, oh no. I've 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 heard of that. It's a it's a good game, but the cutscenes <laughs> are laughable. Hmm. So I'm just like, that could work. I yes. What was the movie that I was talking to Octo Pimp last night and he told me that like you know Parasite Eve? Yes. We were talking about Parasite Eve. Apparently it's based off of a book and there's a movie too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh and probably just bit dropped him. And 